All right. That should be everything. Excellent. Still got a few minutes. Feels like we're approaching the end of this game too. Like it'll just and another cut handful of hours. Like I, I I'm torn. We either just hit the halfway turning point or we're in the final hour. Stream the VN I linked? No, Sass, I'm not gonna stream the VN you linked. Also, hi, how you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> I'm actually going to look it up at and, and like try to see like what, what kind of uncomfortable it is, because if it's a if it's funny enough I might find a use for it somewhere but what the hell where do you find these things sass <laughs> what's wrong <laughs> what's wrong have you seen the game <laughs> oh it is a handful is what that is I just, there's so many words used to describe it, and none of them, like, coalesced into a sensible sentence that I could understand and that conveyed information. <laughs> it looks like a nightmare. Yeah, it's like, I don't, even just reading the product description page, I'm like, what the, what am I supposed to, what? <laughs> like, if Adult Swim made a VN. God, yeah, it is, isn't it? It's just, it is a... It's a lot going on all at once, and none of it is the stuff I need to get involved with. <laughs> you don't know what we're talking about? Remain blissfully ignorant? Hi, Lucas. Uh, it's some a, g a game that Sass recommended in the Discord, and I'm refusing rather valiantly to even play it or even entertain the notion of doing so. Also, it's noon. Let's, let's play this game, the game that I have currently that we're about to play. AI the Somnium Files, which we can play right now, and will play right now. Oh no, I gave Sass fucking mod privileges so she can post links now. Right, so last time we went into Somnium and we played Minecraft. And then we left her with Oda for some reason. Oh, because uh, uh, Mizuki is going to be with them. Right. We trust Mizuki more than we trust Oda. And then we came to see Hitomi. We're like, hey. And she's like, hey, yeah. So Iris has a fucking brain tumor. And that causes her to hallucinate sometimes. Which maybe... Would have been nice to have known before we got put in charge of keeping her safe for, like, a day. I don't know. That's the kind of thing. Where they... Come on, since we needed it for feet. I know! I'm not I'm not going to remove it. You earned it. You earned it. The feet... Any, anyone who would go through that hell with me has earned it. But Hitomi is sitting on the sofa. <laughs> That's our sofa, not... <laughs> a wooden shelf. A bookshelf. Lights are on. We can't see the stuff that's on the uh, thing over there. Also, the music is very, the music is very tense right now. There are a lot of dishes. Microwave. Refrigerator. Kitchen counter. So tell me. All right. Anything else in here we can look at? Dining table. All right. Come on, no one. This is the one scene where no one has any funny observations from the background elements. Ceiling fan is spinning. I, I, I'm, I'm desperate for something to take the edge off of this scene, and they're not giving it to me. There's a door in the back of the room. Some tea on the table. Steam is rising from the tea. A cushion. Hmm. 
The drawing of the wall. Iris drew it when she was 12. Definitely feels like that's a dachi, doesn't it? Telephone in the corner. A winter iris. It means good news and hope. It's for lighting. You can see the trees and sky outside. Literally nothing? The one time I look over the entire scene and there's not a single funny little joke in the background. Just not going to give me anything here, huh? All right. Tommy is sitting on the couch. Has Iris contacted you? Yes. She said she was staying with a friend. She's with Mizuki, but it still bothers me. I'm so worried that I couldn't sleep. Huh. How long has she been sick for? We found out in January. Of this year. She suddenly collapsed at school. She went to the hospital and they examined her. They found a tumor. That's According not good. To the doctor, surgery wouldn't help. You mean grade 4 terminal. Well, fuck. This is certainly a fun thing to start the stream back on. She has a year to live at most. That's what the doctor told me. And if they were right, then she only has a few months left. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Holy shit. Okay. So, when she was saying that, it wasn't about the conspiracy thing that she was believing. It was because she really is going to die and she knows that. Oh, God. This game is always a joker. Yeah, yeah, this is really the most uplifting part of the game. Whew! <sighs> Does Iris know? I didn't tell her the specifics, but I'm sure she knows. About her disease. It's a brain tumor. It can cause a number of side effects. Really? Nausea and dizziness. Yep, because she stumbles there and she was hesitant to eat earlier on. I, oh, man. Very uplifting. Lifting up to the heavens, even. <laughs> right? God. Yeah, and there's several times when she's about to... Sometimes her hands and legs go numb. Huh. Damn, that is just... So is this like... Sometimes she can't control her body temperature. Is this like... No. But I am kind of warm. Even that aside? Jesus Christ. What? That was all caused by her brain tumor? Jesus Christ. Okay. So, huh. Ordinary treatments won't work. Huh. But there is one What's way, the one way? To save her life. Which is? I have defeated Minecraft with the power of idle songs like 30 minutes ago in game time, and now it's time for cancer. It's from yeah, right? <sighs> Why now? Sorry. Could you excuse me? I stood up and went to the corner of the room to answer Mizuki's call. Date, I, I'm sorry. I. What? What happened? Iris, she, she's gone. I, she disappeared. I only took my eyes off her for a second. Well, that's not good at all. What? Okay. Where did she go? Guess it's now go time. Opening. What the fuck happened? Going with the person I trust most, please don't worry about me. Going with the person she trusts most. Iris. Sure as hell ain't us. I have tried calling Iris with a different line. I cannot connect. It is probable that she turned her phone off. Damn. Fuck. Mizuki, let's split up and find her. Let Ota know too. Got it. Okay, so we're just... Alright, so who's the person she trusts most? Did something happen? Who is the person she trusts the most? Person she trusts the most. She was eavesdropping. No point in hiding it. Told her that Iris was missing. Oh shit. Okay, so there was the implication earlier that the estate the you remember how there's this whole thing where like 
we are <laughs> we had a uh, serial murder escape a serial murderer escape and uh, we couldn't hold them there's the implication going on that that was indeed the person who was her father figure and who was uh, Hitomi's uh, I don't know if they were married or not but Hitomi's uh, boyfriend for several months um, so the implication I guess is that she went with fucking uh, the person that came to get her was the escaped serial killer dude who was also her father figure because you know she would trust him unconditionally Hitomi went quiet she didn't ask why she disappeared. I'm sure she thinks it's the tumor. She thinks she thinks that Iris's illness is making her go insane. Iris said that she was going with somebody, with the person she trusts most. Yep. Any idea who that might it's be? It's gonna be 89. That's 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 the only one it can be, right? No. Okay. I'm gonna go look for her. Great conversation, I'll go too. everyone. No, please stay here. She might come home. But. It's all right. I'll trust me. <laughs> Escaped convict gets on the loose, and we're like, "Yeah, we'll find him eventually." Iris goes missing. We're like, "I'm on it. I'm okay. on the case." Remember that time last stream when we distracted a bunch of armed thugs with porn mags, like it was fucking Metal Gear Solid? Yeah, I remember that too. <laughs> Good time. Date, the person in Iris's letter, the one she trusts most. Who do you think that is? Who does Iris trust the most? Well, we know. I know. I know what my answer is for that. The passenger seat. I wonder if that's going to be the gear shift, glove box, center console. Is the game chugging today, or is it just me? Steering wheel, dashboard. Try to do too many scenes at once. Oh, poor Nintendo Switch. You are woefully outclassed here. So the answer is going to be her uncle. I see. The man had told me was yep. six years And in all fairness, understandable priorities. Yeah, yeah. was a thoughtful, reliable man. I thought of him as a father. But Iris said that she was looking for him. What are the odds she found him just Pretty now? good if it's the I escaped convict that just finally got out of prison. Oh, so we have to go through all the answers first? It's not us. You can't be serious. Yeah, we kind of. Should I replay the conversation? Yeah, we kind of let that ship sail when we decided not to trust her. So. I'm stupid to think I could trust you, Date. Bye. Yeah, yeah, like that. That that ship has explicitly sailed. Unfortunately, Iris has completely lost faith in you. There's no way she trusts you now. Okay. What about Hitomi then? Oh yes. That must be it. Right now, Iris is heading home, and we just missed her. No, Date. If that were the case, she wouldn't have written it. Yeah, like no that. shit. Think harder. What, what do you mean, think harder? I had the right answer the first time. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> also, hi, Henri. I just realized I responded to you, but I didn't say hello. Hello, Henri. Hope you're having a good day. Remember what Iris said? Really? Renju? up to him. He's done so much for me. I know I can rely on him more than anyone Renju? else. Renju? Really? I don't know if I buy that. According to the mermaid at Sunfish Pot. Hmm. Okay. I guess. He was looking for Iris. Was looking for Okay. I think Renju called Iris. And Iris went looking for him. Exactly. Huh. Okay. Then what can I do? We've been looking for Renju. Everyone at HQ is looking for him too. Huh, to I guess that is the, the more obvious answer. 89. He's on the run with number 89. So they're both in the same spot then. And even with all of that, 
We haven't found it. We don't even have See, 89 place. was the one I thought was her uncle from, uh... If we only hmm. had some clues to work with... Then we wouldn't be in this mess. Are you giving up? Iris might be with number 89 at this very moment. We need to find her immediately. Well, shit. Don't think, Date. Where would Renju go? Where is Renju likely to go? He is likely to go none of these places. Not back to the Sagans. Not going to go to his house. Lemniscuit? I got a call from Mizuki. She went to Lemniscate, but no one was okay, there. Okay, so it's not there. Well, good, good to know that we got... It's not that one. Okay, so probably his house then. He's not going to go to a public restaurant. Renju's house is currently occupied by officers from HQ. Shit! If he went back there, we would have been contacted. Okay. Oh, we have to go through a couple before we get to the cold storage warehouse. Okay, that makes sense. The cold storage warehouse. Maybe he's there. The one place that we just have no reason to believe is important other than that someone went there one time. But hey, whatever. That works. All right, come on, Dante. Were we right? Did we go to the right spot? Well, let's find out. Nope. There is no one here. Damn. He's not here. Let's go, Iba. Wait. What's wrong? Is there someone here? No living organisms detected. Oh, no. When you phrase it that way. Then... No living organisms detected. You mean... Let's search the area. We might be able to find something. Whew. Okay. 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 Cardboard box on the shelf. Nothing wrong there. No little drum. Nothing looks like a clue. Forklift. Date, the forklift. Doesn't it seem off somehow? It hasn't been in use for some time. But something is peculiar about it. X-ray the forklift. What? The fuck? No. This can't be. She's behind the forklift? Under it? Again? What the fuck? Okay, this time we've got Iba in, so it's not that we're... Iris. And her eye is gone, too. Iris. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, oh, well, fuck. Um. The case remains unsolved. Oh, that was the end. Oh, fuck. Well, shit. The real culprit, the incident six years ago, and Date's past. Use the flowchart to jump to a branching point in the Somnia. Maybe hidden somewhere in the dream world. Find a new way forward. Fuck! Okay, so we've... See, you must play through more of the story. Okay. Huh. Okay. So, hello everyone. Hi, Wheel Baron! You came just in time for us to 
get Iris to die. Fuck. Okay, so if we, what if we do this one again? So, okay, so now it lets us go and pick branching points, right? There were two branching points that we that we found. One was in this Somnium, and one was in this very first Somnium. I think what we want to do first is... All right, so just let's just pick scene by scene here. Uh, I guess let's start with depth first. Neat, our first lock. So I don't know what the lock means. Proceed, you must play through more of the story. Okay. So we let Iris die. So what if we go back here and instead of, instead of being like, I don't believe you, Iris, what if we instead be like, yeah, we, uh, we, I believe you. So instead of, instead of being all high and mighty and being like, oh yeah, no, there's no way this could be real. We just accept it at face value and I wonder what that gets us. I guess we can just, hop, like, can I just hop around wherever now? Please tell me I can skip through stuff because if we can't skip through uh, cutscenes, it's going to be a very long sing and dance routine. What is this? Return of Minecraft. It is. Why do you look like that? All right, we're gonna skip through. Sorry, everyone. We're skipping through the stuff we've already seen. As cool as these cutscenes are, because the cutscenes are fucking great still. At least we know what to do now. This doesn't. Let's pick that up. Hero Brian looks different. Hi, oddball. This is a pretty avant-garde. <laughs> Hero Brian does indeed look very different. I'm glad that I picked today to use the the silly Minecraft gag in the. Uh... Ah, so we're gonna dig. Yeah. Just no, not even. All right. Sorry, incredible voice acting. We gotta. We got. I feel bad for skipping it, but we've already been through here and we're trying to branch off. So we'll we'll uh, go back to it as soon as we're. Uh... That's a big stick. It must. Okay, we're gonna dig this. Nice. And it's time for singing and dancing. Yeah, you did. Uh, let's make a disco ball. And then... Song and dance time! Woo! Case solved, Hero Brian is the murderer. See, I feel weird because I don't know anything about that particular generation of Minecraft. When I was playing Minecraft, it was when it was an alpha. And I've not really gone back to it since then. Locked, but this this must be the okay understood so we can't dig this yet okay I suppose we can't dig here seems like it all right so we got to dig the other side that's fine this appears to be another gate so let's dig this one Oh, gotta dig, gotta dig, gotta dig, gotta dig, gotta dig, gotta dig, gotta dig. I am mashing so hard. I dug it up. Thank you very much for digging. Um. All right, so we gotta now instead of going against her wishes, we gotta build the thing and put it on the pedestal. We're gonna craft the monument. An egg. There you have it, Iba. Understood. Done. 
It could have given it a little more. Oomph. Right. I don't want to skip this because now from here on out, this is stuff we haven't seen before. Not found. Please take the monument to the shrine. You can make miracles, Dante. Got it. Leave it to me, Iris. Are you going to continue doing whatever Iris tells yes. you? Yes. Yes, I am, Iba. Iba, I get where you're coming from, but... We went I down the other road and it caused her to die without all these questions unanswered. I, I want to... He said the line! He said... The Hold on. I want to believe her. I want to believe her. He said the line, everyone. If that is what you believe, then I will obey. I exist to support you, Date. Let's bring this to the shrine. Yeah, let's go. All right. This appears to be a pedestal. Place that monument. Dante becomes a simp for a VTuber, Understood. right? It will be done. All right. So what happens now? The wilted iris is blossomed. What? There were dead flowers outside. What happened to them? Huh. Is this the ending where we finally get to play Minecraft with Iris? Oh, wow! This is... Miracle. In the language of flowers, the Iris means good news. And yeah, it does. The fact that you believed in me is good news. And Date, you are my hope. I'm your hope? You might be able to use it now, Date. Use what? There's something around the flowers. Another rare drop? Huh, I okay, so there's something we can dig, dig down. Right. All right. Time for more Minecraft. The color of this floor is slightly different. Let's dig. Diglet dig. All right. Try digging. Understood. Trio, trio, trio. God, part of me really wants to rewatch the original Pokemon anime for some reason. There's no way it can be good or like like Anything good like to watch before? as an anime but like nostalgia wise is it on the wiki i'm gonna go check give me a second what is this oh i get it it's a love bomb a love mm -hmm. bomb an item of that description is not in the game let's fight for the future with the power of love sure if you use this you might be able to find me use it how you need to dance date oh that's now right. we need to dance Again? Haven't I danced enough already? This is to save Iris. Please, just bear with it for now. All right. I'll just use this bomb somewhere over there, I suppose. I like how Iba is just yeah, like, try I am not digging any of this at all, Date. All right, let's get going. We cannot move forward with the debris in the well, way. Well, thankfully, we're going to use the love bomb. Around here? Yeah. Dance, baby, dance! Do you want me to dance? Please. All right, do they get a second dance animation? Let's find out. Oh, the heart of Iris's is dancing? We're dancing in Iris's heart. We have another dance sequence, really? Okay, that one was shorter. I was like, they're not gonna do two of these back to back, right? Okay, no, th 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 I get it. What? Oops, looks like I messed that up, didn't I? Okay, well, guess I'll just die and restart. Huh. Guess I'll just die and restart. Fuck. Oh, where is this place? Okay, let's regroup and keep going. As a video game character, experiencing death again and again is very Oh, Iba. <laughs> I've got a couple of light novels that you would not enjoy. Iris is further away from us now. So when will you stop believing her? Dante, can you see that shrine? Iris, I'm sorry. Did we make a mistake? No, you haven't. What's going on? Are we supposed to go that direction? Huh. I don't understand. Okay. Iris? Are you there? Now she's in a pyramid or being abducted by a UFO. Okay. 
fun that I've died in lava. She'll be back. Okay. This guy's gonna be the final boss for today. No, stop! Stay away! Iris! Nice is coming! Dante, help me! Huh? Sorry, everyone. My PC is acting weird. Huh. Iris is in trouble. Is there any way to save her? Date, this is Somnium. It cannot affect the real world. That's not true. I saved Iris in Yeah, I don't. Once. Are, are, are we supposed to believe Iris that Date actually the changes world the world with the power of belief? Either way, we do not have the power to fight against the UFO. If you want to help Iris, we need to find a way. What can we do? Okay. So what happens now? It's a pyramid. Let's, uh... Dig that pyramid. We no longer have a pickaxe. Right. Right, okay. It's a pyramid. Try climbing. Can we be rational and look at my feet? Alright, this conversation again. Do you think I can climb it? It's worth a try. Then I... You look pretty. Please, dude. It's a. All right, so let's just investigate then. So what do we need here? It's a fitting to the name of Golden Yokocho. Because it's like a golden pyramid. Oh, I. Yes. When are they adding shovels to this game? They are not adding shovels. <laughs> what? Shovel Forge has no shovels. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right. It's blocked, but it must be the outermost gate. Let's uh keep investigating here then. Without a pickaxe, there is no need for us to waste energy thinking about this gate. Okay. A mirror door. Dance in the mirror door? What? The power of dance. The most beautiful <laughs> thing in humanity. Betrayal. Is right? Dance is the only way to beat Nyes in the Wadjet system. The reason why your reflection isn't shown in the mirror is because of Nyes. You're a threat to their existence. They're trying to erase you and. Date. Please do it. Understood. Want more dancing? <laughs> they are really getting their mileage out of that dancing animation, huh? Oh, apparently that works, though, so I... Huh. Someone gonna sue Shovel Forge for false advertisement? <laughs> Is it, Was that a reference to something in particular, or was it just Iba being silly? Okay, now there. Okay, now the 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 armed gunmen are dan. What? I am so. I. I feel like I picked the most surreal route now. I don't know what to make of any of this anymore. Because we know, I because of the other route, we know Iris is sick. She has a brain tumor, since she's it's affecting what she. So by encouraging all this, we're not really helping anything. But it seems to be the only way we can change things. I guess. Thank you for dancing, Iba. Iris, is it really you, Iris? Okay, so... Huh. Oh, 
Okay, let's drop a save here because it looks like this is another inflection point. So let's save here. Touch core. Okay. Please. Please trust me. Well, at a minimum, if we get her to trust us, she'll come to us when she's in danger. Iba, touch the instead core. of the people that'll murder her. Date. Right? I love Minecraft, Iba. My craft. Please tell me that's a Minecraft skin you can download because it is too cute to not be. Well. Huh. I, uh, huh. Don't know what to make of that. So what happens now? We've convinced her that, we've convinced ourselves that Iris is telling the truth. There's got to be one which looks like that. I'm sure there is. Eri. That's a new route name. Huh. Iris AI. Oh. Okay, well, I guess we keep going. The sink from earlier touched my heart in a way that'll always linger. All doubt was removed from my mind. I was determined. Iris, I'm sorry that I doubted you. Ooh, this does not bode well. <laughs> I guess this is what we have to do to move forward, but, uh. Yeah, mmm, that's not good. I believe you. Wajit Nyes X00639. Are you serious? And like I said, I'll fulfill your wish. From this moment on, you're under my protection. Then? Yeah. I'm your bodyguard. And you can call me Al. I'll protect you with my life, Iris. Date! Thank you! Thank you so much! Oof. And this hurts even more because now we know- Oh, no. Date, are you delusional? You're going to help too, right, Iva? My mission is to support I found two, but neither fit the same aesthetic. That's eh, unfortunate. Good. And thank you. Well. <laughs> I guess... Wow, we had to choose between fucking letting her die or drinking the Kool-Aid, right? Doc AI? Huh. Dante getting gaslight girl bossed by a dream-induced shared delusions, right? What the hell, dude? Kumakura office. Okay. Well, she's still alive, so I guess that's a like, step forward, right? What? You stayed at a hotel with Tessa? It was a business hotel. It was a two-bed room. <gasps> Don't say misleading things. We got two rooms, each with two beds. We did bathe together, though. No, we didn't. Why are what? you trying to fucking... Isn't your gang supposed to be clean? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the hell is happening in this scene? Why are you here anyway? I told Momo about the attack by nice nice clothes. I see. I heard about the shooting in Golden Yoko Show last night, but I never thought it'd be you. Huh. What do you mean you never thought it would be us? Also, why is everything gray in the office now? Wasn't it like brighter? The entrance. Am I am I just hallucinating that, or wasn't it brighter in here? It's a partition set up by the doorway. Huh? 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 Partition. That's a stretch. It's a partition set up by the doorway. The desk probably belongs to someone in the, the group. Telephone on the desk. Lockers are lined up on the wall. See, the thing is, I'm back. To, I'm circling back to what we were talking about very early in the game. 
where I was under the, oh, hold on, where I was under the impression that Date might also be delusional. But then the game brings it up itself, but in relation to a different character. So now I'm like, oh, what do I do? Because it feels like the first time we saw Iris's body might have been us hallucinating. Iba wasn't there to confirm it. No, there was no body found or anything. It seemed like we were we might have been hallucinating that. But then on the ending we got, we did just find the body. Also with I Iba there. So I guess that... Huh. I don't know what to make of it. Do the Believe Iris route before the information, but it was long after, but it was after doing the other branches. There are more branches? Hey, Iris. What does a candle remind you of? Um, fire? Anything else? What, like a dick? I wasn't asking you. What, what like a dick? <laughs> PC on top of the desk. Wait, so this is, this is not the only route we could have gone here? Huh. It seemed like that was a pretty binary choice, but was there another option we could have taken? There's already a branch of Mizuki Somnium. Right, right, right. I was just doing depth first. I, we could have branched off there, yeah. But it is a binary branch point, right? Chairman's desk. Kumakura Crest. There's an A-set figure hidden in the safe behind it. Shinto Shrine. And, like, the fact that, ev like, everything just feels like it's the wrong color now. Just because it's a gray day, or, like, I, I, I must have just m m misremembered it. What do you want, MoMA? Why are we even here talking to MoMA? A window. Shelves are like, yep, okay, a bunch of shelves. Tiger rug. A leather sofa. There's something about this that's so black. It's like, how much more black could this be? None. None more black. None more black. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, good. We're glad we're back to the funny writing. Only has the two branches. They think that. Okay, good. So it's not like I'm missing something. A coffee table. There's an ashtray on the table. There's a locker near the window. Some kind of permit. Company philosophy is written on the wall. Always reply after reading. Last month's schedule is written on the board. 24th Nursing Home Magic Show. Alright. You can even activate the menu that way. That's cute. I didn't realize you could just hover your cursor over the menu. and. But where are your lackeys at? When you told me you were coming, I made them leave. I can't let them see me with Tessa. Jesus Christ, dude. About Renju. Unfortunately, I don't have anything new for you. But uh, I did find out a little nugget of info you might want to Oh? Hear. What is it? I'll tell you, but... Date, come over here. Again with this? <laughs> we're just going to tell her. With his arm over my shoulder, Moma led me to a corner of the room. Tell you, Date, but you gotta do something for me. You wanna shake her hand again? No, 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 no. I, I did that already. I want to see her panties. I'm sorry. I, I, Jesus I want Christ, to see dude. Tessa's panties. I really, really, really want to see. Okay, we're back in we're back in thin ice no, territory no, here. Break. She's not gonna let you. Well, can you at least ask? Unbelievable. Jesus Christ. Moma and I went back to where we were. Iris, could you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. This guy wants to see your panties. She hit me. Hard. That's messed up, Date. I know Moma would never say that. Right, Moma? Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> Go to jail. Go directly to jail. Date, you <laughs> evil. Robber. At least even Date is just done with it, right? Seriously? You just want a handshake, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I tried to tell it. Jesus Christ. Well, whatever. Good for, good for them. Date, this, 
This is the happiest day of my life. I thought that was yesterday. Well, I'm so glad for you. I am very sorry, Iris. Do you want to call your mom? Well, that's random. I just thought she might be worried. It's fine. She knows already. I told her I'm with you. I'm sure she's huh. not worried. Okay. About Renju. Maybe Mr. Okiro was a part of Nice. What? Huh. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking out loud. What makes you think that? When we were at Sunfish Pocket, my friend said... Huh. Now, are they going to do the cool thing where she's both delusional and also the delusion has a very un like uncomfortable basis in reality? He was looking for Iris. Glad we went through all the loading to get that. And then later... I almost got kidnapped by Nice. Was that just a coincidence? And not just that. When you found my corpse in the parallel world, you found it in an Okiara warehouse. Yeah. That is pretty compa- Oh my god, the switch is chugging. What Gee, oh god. Th the switch is trying so hard to make nice. this work. That makes me think the Okioras and Nice are connected. Alright, you, you, got, you got this, buddy. Oh, she's with Date. I'm sure she Maybe he'll be responsible. Meanwhile, Date. And number eighty nine is an assassin. If he wanted to get rid of me, Mr. Okira must have. If that's true, it could be related to Shoko's murder. Huh. Okay, sure. Now I'm not even sure how any of this ties back to the original fucking Shoko thing, which is Shoko's murder. Like. What the, I completely f forgot that that was even like what started this whole thing off. What the hell? They killed her for getting too close, then displayed the body as a warning. That's all, all comes back to Nyes. Once we solve the mystery of Nyes at Lowe's, Nyes at Lowe's, everything else will fall into place. Or so I thought. If you want to know more about Nyes, why not ask Ota? Remember what he said yesterday? That he knows all about secret societies and stuff? I know about conspiracies and secret societies, too. I find that stuff fascinating. Thank you. I... I wonder whether or not it really needs to load in those scenes just for two seconds of repeat dialogue. How's school going? School? Today's Tuesday. It's not another holiday, is it? What are you? Dense? Tessa was almost kidnapped. She can't be going to school now. I guess that's tr true. Oh, and the, and there's the little first little thing that something is wrong. Why doesn't Iris ever go to school? Because there's no sense in making her spend the last year of her life going to school. Oh, wow. Oh, this is this is really depressing now. There's that good visual novel shit. I mm, put that sad stuff into my veins. What about Renju. Anyway, what's this intel you got? Check it out. Friday night near Bloom Park, someone saw Renju. Friday night? That's when Shoko was killed. Hmm. Obviously, that's not enough to pin the crime on him, but it does prove he was there. I guess we should check the merry-go-round again. Really? The police have already thoroughly searched it, and we've been there more than once before on our Yeah, investigation. I don't think there's anything new to find. But we might have missed something, right? No, Date, you're acting like... Less panties, more depression, please. Right? Or, like, you can have panties with your depression. Just make it, like, consensual panties. Not, like, weirdly extorting... Weirdly extorting people for their panties. Sorry. Never heard of them. Are they even real? Yes! Oh. Yeah. Of, of mean, course. Of course. <laughs> I've always known <laughs> deep down there must be some kind of secret organization. Always known it. Anyway, I, I got some info about the shootout. Yeah, okay. Those guys aren't affiliated with any criminal organization. So, okay, so they are doing the thing where it's like, it's not that there's a criminal organization called Nyes, but there is an actual thing going on that we don't know about. Huh. Okay, that's cool. They're not mafia or yakuza. What or they anything. are is incompetent. 
But it says he knows about conspiracies, but it just turns out he's just talking about anime, not catering to him. <laughs> they must have been hired guns. Uh, by Niza M M Mattis. It's Nizet Laws. Nizet Laws. Okay. Sounds like it sounds like a law firm. Yeah. <laughs> We're Johnson and Johnson of Nizet Laws. Three places we can go. And we're loading the picture of it right now. First Bloom Park, curious about Renji being seen there Friday. I don't know why we would go back there. There's nothing to find. Second Matsuhita Diner, want us to go to more about Nyes. And the third one, loading soon. Third, Sejima Estate. Sejima was probably the one responsible for Iris' murder of the parallel world. In which case, he might, be, he might be a part of Nyes. I need to confront him. You need to confront him about... Jesus Christ, we we have really just taken the idiot juice today, huh? Let's go, Iris. Oh, yeah! You're taking Tessa with you? She'll be safer here? You can't do that. I made her a promise. I will be Iris' garter belt. Her what? Uh, sorry. I meant bodyguard. Uh, Freudian slip. God damn it, Dante. Well, whatever. But if you're gonna leave, you should take this with you. You're. D oh no. <laughs> God damn it, Oddball. Oh, what's the object? What's this? A GPS transmitter. Moma, Iris's phone already has GPS. I know. But in case she gets caught and they throw away her phone or something, it's just an extra precaution. That's... If it was offered by anyone but you, it would be a good idea. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Thank you. Iris took the GPS transmitter and hid it in her clothes. I hope it'll be useful. Dante, if anything happens to her, I'll make sure you regret it for the rest of your life. It'll be fine. Relax. Well, all right. I guess that's all we're getting out of this scene. Huh. All right. Well, I guess we get to keep playing, so that's good. <laughs> I, 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 This game is throwing me for too many curves. I don't know quite what to make of it right now. Momo just went to take them to the washer. He doesn't want to wear... Aww. That, that's it's so, it's so kind of him to be thinking about her. Didn't, don't, no, no, I hate this joke. Actually, we're done. All right, let's go to Bloom Park first. When I said the kind of guy who goes on speeches about how the fan service in Etchy anime number 389 is incredibly important to the plot, actually. <laughs> yeah, he really is, isn't he? <laughs> I took my time checking every inch of the merry-go-round. There's nothing here. Guess not. Then why did Renju come here on Friday night? Was it to place Shogo's body here, or did he have another reason? Renju's my friend. I want to believe him, but I don't know how long I can keep defending him. Where is he? What is he doing? I thought of it over a thousand times. My head is heavy with it. Iris suddenly snapped me out of it. Want to race, Dante? Race? Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. You want to challenge me? Well, sure. Oh, I guess we're racing now. Yeah, let's do it. We'll start here and end here. Okay, so I gotta. So we race around the merry-go-round. Button mash, I guess. Right. Button mash mini game incoming. Line up next to me. Before I even had a chance to reply, Iris got set. I guess I have no choice. I lined up next to Iris. Okay, here we go. Ready. Steady. Set. Go. I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought I must be dreaming. A second after the race had started, I was already two paces behind her. I couldn't close the gap. I watched her back get smaller and smaller. You don't understand. Seeing girls talking while naked and on screen symbolizes their emotional vulnerability. It's, it's about the emotion. How, how was my, uh, how was my See? anime understander Tell logging on voice? Actually, you don't understand. Seeing girls and talking while naked in the onsen symbolizes their emotional vulnerability. 
There it is. You've earned your Found it. Sake. <laughs> Do you know a lot about mythology? Huh? You said that Iris is a goddess in Greek mythology. And three days ago, you were talking about Egyptian mythology. Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. Damn, why are we here parroting Oto when he doesn't even hear? Because we were... <laughs> because we were... Uh, uh, Oto is one of the options we can go visit now. So we were uh, talking about... <laughs> You know him. Also, hi, Raina. Hope right you're having a good day. The eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. So the one that was removed from Iris's corpse was her right eye. If I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, also because it's Oda. We all have an Oda inside. Of, I hope not. Oris's eye is the left is the eye of Wajet. Is that any relation to the Wajet system? The Eye of Waja is also the <laughs> the eye that has Iba in it, so. Oh, mythology? I actually don't know that much. Uncle taught me everything. Uncle, who we suspect is 89. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone all the time. I used to call him Uncle. Oh, yeah. Didn't he come up with Aset, too? Yeah, that's right. And that would make sense name is rooted in if 89 was her too. uncle. Right? Because then she's suddenly got very popular, and now he he's knows that, oh, oh, she's popular, and I, I can recognize the name that's our signal. I'm going to bust out of jail now. I don't know. They didn't know they got Minecraft streamers in jail, but well, whatever. How'd you get so fast? How many fasts did you get? I told you yesterday, I love moving around, and I especially love dancing. But hmm? about three months ago... Mr. Ogira told me something. He said that I can't dance. Why? I don't know. He said something about being over-reliant on dancing and neglecting my huh. singing. You should stop dancing for now and practice singing. Oh, no. And he told her that. Be oh, my. I wonder if he told her that because he also knows. And he's like, we probably shouldn't have you do stuff like this for much longer that involves that kind of motor function. Oh, no. During your life. Oh no. She was dancing. Because I was sad. After I Imagine a world where my so in a world things. where Minecraft is a crime. Crime craft. They said we got terrible there. things to me. <laughs> like that I'm worthless if I can't dance. Wait, who said that to you? If you stopped dancing, you lost so many fans. Oh, no. All I have is dancing. Just dancing. Huh. God damn it. Dance, white girl, dance. <laughs> God, it's so sad because we... Ne because that seems to be the only thing that, like, brings her, like, that much joy. But also, Renju probably knows. And is prob uh, probably knows about her tumor and is like... I yeah, she probably shouldn't be doing that. He said, you bet. Horace's mom is named Isis, but in ancient Egyptian, it's pronounced closer to Ise or Ase. Huh. It comes back? Hmm. How do I explain this? Funny if you had to get it from Horace's illegal sources or if it was still available Cyrus. completely normally, but you just get arrested if you buy it. <laughs> It's like you're allowed to you're allowed to like purchase it wholesale and display it on shelves, but the moment you per you the moment the cashier rings you up, there's a cop right there waiting to take you away in handcuffs. <laughs> and his mom's name is Isis. So Cyrus is Isis's husband. Osiris was assassinated by his brother. So many s sounds. Ooh. After Set killed Osiris, he tore his body to pieces and threw it into the river. Isis was devastated. I can't believe I'm a widow at my age. But she didn't let it break her because she had the power of life and death. Huh. All right, fine. If that's how it's going to be, I'll just revive my husband. With a group of her friends, she gathered up Osiris's body and started the resurrection ritual. Huh. Live! Shh, her. And so Osiris was revived. Well, technically he wasn't all there. So he wasn't in one piece. But anyway, <laughs> Isis was the goddess okay. of life, death, this and is, fertility. This takes on she a different tone when we know that 
when we know that she's gonna die in a couple months. Whew. Dante has to face his greatest challenge yet, Minecraft YouTubers. Can a normal 30-something white guy handle modern Minecraft? You Actually, no, he's not white. He's... But still. <laughs> a straight-laced 30-something dude to handle Minecraft streamers? Find out next what time. Do with your own name? There's a theory that the Greek goddess Iris is really based on the Egyptian goddess Isis. Huh. So Isis and Iris are connected. That's how they're bringing it in. Okay. And Isis sounded like Aset in ancient Egyptian, which is where your stage name comes from. That's right. But remember, I didn't come up with the name. Her uncle. Her uncle came up. Yep. About the eye of Wajit. Horus's arch enemy was Set, his uncle. His uncle. I told you earlier. <laughs> okay, now we're making it very clear. Okay. Horus's father was Osiris, who was assassinated by his younger brother Set. Right, I see. Not only was he killed, he was shredded to pieces. So obviously Horus was pissed. Drat! I'll never forgive you, Uncle Set. On the <laughs> other hand, Set didn't like having Horus around. There we go. Ugh, oh, he's so annoying. Osiris said that I was supposed to be king. <laughs> but now everyone's like, oh, Horus should be king. Are these idiots serious? Knowing this Horus game, I'm honestly surprised they didn't mention king. Osiris's missing part was his... <laughs> Time to go to war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think, like, like, that's where they draw the line? Really? And so, a bloody war broke out. Just like that. And the winner was decided by a deadly game. What kind of game? They call it they would Sword Art Online. As hippos, ford the river, and whoever gets to the other side first would win. Wait, they competed by playing Oregon Trail? That's what they decided. How oddly specific. <laughs> so, for 80 years they fought. It was bloody and horrible. In the end, Horus huh. won. Horus used a spear to cut off Set's foot and Wee Wee. Huh. Wee Wee? I believe she is referring to a male. Wait, why are you asking me? <laughs> but Horus didn't come out of this unscathed. During the battle, Horus lost his left eyeball to Set. It's said that the left eye survived and traveled all over Egypt. Oh. Huh. Wisdom and experience. Okay. Horus had no idea that his left eye was wandering around on its own. They do what? mention it, yeah. Where did my eye go? Horus was totally bummed out. He went to see the god of wisdom, the moon, and time, Thoth. Damn, Set did that? That's brutal, dude. <laughs> all right, I'll use my moon power to heal you up. <laughs> Watching yeah, Iris do all the Mr. voices Thoth. is very good. Okay, okay. here it goes. Moon healing power. Wait. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> wait, wait. One of the <laughs> one of those was a Sailor Moon. Thoth cast his spell and Horus's eye came zooming in. Zoom. <laughs> one of those was a Sailor Moon. Horus got his eye back. And from that day forward, his left eye had the power of the moon in it. Yeah, then Horus fed. Became the symbol of knowledge that and says, uh, healing. May, oh, no. oh no! Oh no! So that's the Egyptian mythology is right. alarming. It became the eye of providence. Irish yes. should teach mythology. Yes, yes, she should. Do you think that's why we call it the Wadjet system? Probably, yeah. In the end, we didn't find any new information on Renju. I'm not too upset. This is what a criminal investigation is about. Don't always find what you're looking for. Let's get going, huh? Yeah, let's go. But I still haven't found... All right, let's get out of here. Uh, let's go... Let's go talk to Oda. All right, Oda. All right, the anime understander has logged on, everyone.
Ota and Mizuki were both in the diner. Nice laws. I see. It's not impossible. Oda spoke softly to himself, looking deep in thought. I wonder what I wonder what Mizuki has to say about any of this. Let's look around. Round chair. Is that chair comfortable, Tessa? If it's not, you can sit on my back. This man will stop at nothing. <laughs> God damn it, Oda. <laughs> it took us one try, and already Oda is just terrible. Table. Disposable chopsticks. There's a menu on the table. Kuroda Kazuaki's liver with anchovy stir fry. Well, that's not good. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. Well rested Mayumi juice. Still none. None of us can figure out what that sauce is. Beer. Hey, Tessa, can you stack up those beer cases and stand on top? can get on the floor and um he can't be god serious. damn it oh why did we bring her here beer oh please at least ask someone who's interested right also she's like six years older than her and she's like just barely 18 like i don't care if that's technically technically legal that's just creepy dude menu's written on the walton zaku paper nothing but a window an old CRT television. Hey, Date, I've got this video of a girl in a white shirt under a waterfall. Want to watch? Absolutely not. <laughs> Nothing's playing on it. God damn it. Where does Oda even get all this stuff? A lucky cat statue. Meow. What are you doing? Oh, you don't know? It's good luck to imitate a cat in front of one of these. Oh, I see. <laughs> Oh god, Mizuki just unimpressed by everyone around her. She's like, you all are the adults in this room? Oh my fucking god. Bookshelf. It's got stickers on the side of it. Stool. A beer ad on the wall. Hey, Date, do you want this poster? No, not really. You know, if you rub the swimsuit with a coin, you can scrape it off. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll throw it away for you. Thanks, Mizuki. I'm so glad Mizuki Mizuki's she she's got a good head on her shoulder. She's gonna go places. I have Masanori's autograph too, from Shinsen Chatran. Masanori was Mizuki's here? the only reasonable person in this game and she's twelve, right? He knows about this place. It was from a long time ago. Like at least, at least we can be. We can. We're, Date must be doing something right in raising Mizuki because Mizuki seems very, very reasonable. It's a mop. The bucket. You guys want to put some water in that bucket and swing it around? Um, Tessa, please not in the store. It's a bucket. Oh, you don't like buckets? Counter. Can see the kitchen area past the counter. All right. Hi, Tessa. Family photo. Record this phone. The kids' seat. Do you need to sit down, Mizuki? Do you want me to crush your tailbone so you'll never be able to sit down again, Date? <laughs> Oh, you know what? That's who was missing from this game. We need we we need more Mizuki in this game. That's what we need. She is the only one who has currently done nothing wrong. Swinging door. All right, what else we got? Low table? A low table. Small sitting cushion. Says good luck. All right, anything else in here? It's November, but that calendar says January. You can closely add it even the year is wrong. All right, that's all the same, and the clock's probably the same. Oh. What is two arms and a face but no eyes? Hmm. Buddha. What the? <laughs> like the Buddha. He doesn't have eyes? Have you seen his eyes? But he's not blind. No, of course not. He sees all. <laughs> okay, that's fun. <laughs> that's, that's actually really funny. All right. She could actually do it makes both funnier and scarier, right? Like I'm I'm so glad Mizuki is at least Iris, knowing what we know, I'm I feel more just like, oh, that's 
Oh, honey. Mizuki, I'm just like, you just need a better fucking pe people to grow up around. And Oda, you just need to fucking chill, dude. <laughs> so, where's your mother? She's out right now. I'm not sure where. Shopping, maybe. About Iris? Imagine being a grown adult this and getting beaten to a pulp by a sixth grader. Dreams, I, you know what? We've wife. seen Mizuki press. We've seen her what she can bench. She is, she does not skip arm day. My light, my star, my sun, my goddess. God damn it, Oda. She's like the laws of the universe itself. The <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Why, what do you mean a Digimon pro tag? This Oda guy looks like he's from Digimon. He's even got the goggles. What make he Oh my god, he has the goggles. Is that what Oh no. Oh no. Oh. You've only seen me play the one game though. Also, Vivian's here. Oda does have the goggles and the common rider belt. Shit. <laughs> An angel, a lover. Cute mascot to put on a body. Oh, pillow. Vivian just came by to grab her scone. Yours is the walnut one, and mine is the uh, cheddar and jalapeno. All right, cool. A guru, a wife, Hi, Tapu Boo. Digimon, Life sweetie, itself. I'm so sorry. He just has a bunch of nerd merch. Yeah, he does. So I get the parachute. <laughs> Vivian is right. Vivian, people are agreeing with you, but they're not happy about it. <laughs> people have seen call him a Pokemon trainer, but honestly, that's closer. Yeah. I guess the ball cap, maybe. Snuck lover and wife in there. I would ignore it. And like I told you before, I'm Tessa's thrall. Yeah, I believe that. If she calls for me, I'll be there. Thanks, Ota. That makes me happy. I. Hmm. We gotta talk about parasocial relationships, buddy. About Nizet laws. I've heard of them. Please don't encourage this. Nizet laws, or Nize is a satanic secret society like a cult really they sacrifice children what this doesn't sound like the nizet laws we know while the sacrifice is up all night screaming the cult performs ritual oda's acts. the kind of dude who would be into findom yeah you know what hard read on on oda oda's the kind of guy who like in in like in five years is either going to wind up being far right or finding estrogen one of the two their ranks are full of politicians, intellectuals, and business tycoons. They've only been active for a few decades, but some say that they've grown to be the largest secret society in the world. An organization so big that it absorbed the Freemasons and the Is Illuminati. Is that how secret organizations work? They can just absorb each other by being bi I didn't think secret organizations had that kind of like that kind of like professional respect for one another. The whole point of being a secret society is you don't fuck around with other All right, well. But even though their membership is huge, no one knows who their leaders are. Really? Like, you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, okay. right? But for Nice, there's nothing. No one knows who's running the cult. My guess is that they're being led by a group of super geniuses. See, that's the kind of... That is actually the kind of... It doesn't know about the logic system. That's the kind of secret society I would be most scared about. The kind that that goes to great lengths to make sure people aren't talking about them. Like, <laughs> you think about Freemasonry and the Illuminati. Or like, it's like, okay, if those secret societies existed, they're like, what would be the point at this point? If everyone, if their name is on everyone's lips, what the hell is the point? In fact, you were right about that causing me great pain. <laughs> Iris found out just why they're after her. Pieces fit. If you believe everything she said. True, true. Oda looks serious. <laughs> Hi, Mizuki. Why are you here? Well, Ota. Date, can I. Yeah, why is she here? All right, well, let's find out. What's going on? Look, I was going to let you have it, but under the circumstances... What are you talking about? Mizuki, of course. You've been neglecting her. Don't you think she's at her limit? Well, okay, that's actually fair, but 
Coming from you, I kind of like instinctively want to punch you, so. Mizuki stayed at one of the mermaids' houses last night. She was twisting and turning all night. They had to sleep in the same bed so she'd calm down. She called me this morning so I could pick her up. Normally, she'd be in school, but Mizuki had the day off for morning. I thought that she shouldn't be alone. Yeah. Okay. I know we're technically not her legal guardian, but like, yeah. Bad dad hours. Being nicer to Mizuki. Bad dad I know hours. She doesn't show it, but she's really hurting. <laughs> Heartbreaking. The worst person you know just made a great point. <laughs> right? She needs you, Date. She just doesn't want to trouble you. She's a remarkable Fucking hell, Oda. I hate that you're right about this. Why can't we just bring Mizuki along with us? Mizuki, come hang out. We, we're just fucking looking at crime scenes and hanging out with the Yakuza, right? Some good points and does reasonable things. Sometimes he just shouldn't, right? Yeah. God damn it, Oda. About Iris. Who is Iris to me? A friend? A big sister? And I kinda envy her. No, stop it! It's true, though. I look up to you a lot, Iris. Aww. <laughs> See, now she's acting more like a 12-year-old. It never occurred to me in the last thing that the reason she was acting above her age was because we were being a terrible parent and she had to. Not the f like, I was like, I don't know what to make of her being written this way. And then I'm like, no, the obvious thing is that Date is just a really bad dad. Despite everything. <sighs> you know who your father is? If you're asking me, he's involved in all this, isn't he? Is he the culprit? Did he really kill mom? I don't know, well, Mizuki. I guess it's understandable that he'd be a suspect. After mom got killed, he didn't even call. They called me out to Bloom Park for some reason. I thought it was suspicious. Mizuki but route is canon. You can't change my mind. Wait, the, the different route? The Mizuki route is ba Wait. The, what do you mean Mizuki route? What do you mean Mizuki route? This game has routes? I pretended not to notice. Well, I mean, I know it has route, but like... Wait, there's a, like... Th we could play through this without hanging out with Iris all the time? I didn't want to acknowledge it. I wanted to believe in Daddy. We're on a... Ah! Huh! Shit. Well then, alright. Hmm. Oh, just like my big brother. He's a hero who will help me out of any jam. Is that it? He's really important to me. I like him a lot. You've been spending a lot of time with Iris, haven't you? Yeah, I kind of figured she was just the sidekick for the game. It didn't occur to me that at some point the, the decision we made... Because the decision we made was way back in... Uh, in Mizuki's Somnium, the first one, it never occurred to me that that decision would change who we spend the game with. Three Earths worth. Yeah. That's a lot of Earths. Cold. Iris, you look cold. Are you okay? The temperature thing again. Yeah, fine. I just get cold easily. No, it's the temperature thing again. The room is 74 degrees Fahrenheit at 62 Fuck. Oh, no. That, oh, they really have been just putting it in there. Right, Brains are just good old happy Iris time until she dies that one time, I guess. Not right? Not conditions often considered cold. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, this hurts. All right. What am I asking you about? It's hidden behind the menu. About Mizuki. Mizuki is like a cute little sister and and my favorite friend. I like her. No a matter lot. what happens, it's gonna suck in six months when we have to go to her funeral. How much? About three universes worth. No voice line for Aww. that one? Alright, fair enough. Alright, so we can either get Iris to summarize or we can get Mizuki to summarize. Let's get going. You got it. Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? 
I'll come like there's no right there's no conclusion to this game that me too I'll save you no matter what Iris yeah yeah thank you both promise me I promise there's no conclusion to this game that s somehow ends with Iris not having a brain tumor so he's trembling so no matter what like couple months down the line we're all going to her funeral still so <sighs> all right why are we back at the Sejima residence? There's no one in the garden. We don't really have any leads here. So must be inside. Wait, I have detected a living organism in the garden. You should look around. Uh, is it a plant? How did you detect that? Garden stone. Where's the life signal coming from? Tree. Sejima residence. No one is inside. Okay, no one's inside the residence. If no one is inside, then... Giant green blob. Four connect. They disappear. Oh, never mind. That's a plant. <laughs> it's a plant. Well, did he think it was a Puyo? Not a blob. <laughs> he thought it was a Puyo. <laughs> it's a garden lantern. I said garden lantern, not hardened lanyard. I'm aware of that. It's a garden lantern. No one here. Huh. Is it the fucking Kappa in the water again? Oh, over in the... Oh, hi! Over on the veranda. A pond. Nobody's around. An island. Small island is Kojima in Japanese. The director Kojima? He's here? Nice. It honestly wouldn't nice. have weird for him. But he's not there. But it's not Kojima. Guy who's never seen a plant before. Getting some real Puyo vibes off of this. Why is he talking to Hitomi? That's so. Next to him is Hitomi? It looks that way. Why? What's Hitomi doing with So? Huh. She wasn't. No, she's not lying about the brain tumor because we've seen, like, the physical symptoms of the tumor. So unless she's lying about that and something else is causing Iris to have those symptoms, but... Ah, ha, ha, ha. My head's spinning in circles Date? now. What's wrong? Also, when the funeral happens, you could say it changes both the date and the date of the funeral. <laughs> ah, death jokes. Iris hasn't noticed them yet. I decided to ask her about them. You said you don't know So Sejima, right? Right, I don't. What about your mom? Does she know So? I don't know. I don't think she does. Do you ever talk politics at home? Anything like that? Not particularly. Why are you asking me this? Huh. It was at that moment. Two bodyguards dressed in black came running out of the mansion. They had panicked looks on their faces. I thought nobody was it nobody was in there. We told you, you can't come in here. You can't do what you want just because you're a cop. I... So, about that. About that. I, I appreciate the sentiment. I really do, but precedent is against you here. You're trespassing. That's a crime, you know. Get lost. No use pushing it. If they call it HQ, we can get arrested for sure. What would happen to Iris? Who would protect her? Nice is a huge organization. They have people everywhere. Can't risk being caught. Then I would have, wouldn't be able to save Iris. Let's go, Iris. Yeah. All right. Guess we're going to Marble for some reason. Sure. This is the next logical step. Where are we going next? Marble. Golden Yokocho. 
Wasn't that where we were attacked by Nazis? Yeah, that's probably It'll not a great fine. idea. I didn't tell anyone we were going there. They won't be waiting for us. Friendship Besides, ended with Mizuki. Now Iris is my new daughter. Right? No, what? No. But why marble? No reason. I just need to talk to Mama. Hmm? Right, because we never did follow up on the whole thing that she was the one that told us to expect the person who was friends with Renju to be there. And because she... Ex and when she told us us to be there, there was a group of armed thugs waiting for us. So it's hard not to feel like maybe she had a hand in that. Consider Dante can have two daughters. Mm, yes. Okay. That that's that's the that's the fam that's the family fan fiction that I desire. Sorry, I couldn't come last night. Ah. <sighs> As an Ace Attorney fan, I know found family is best family. No, no. Don't worry about it. It was better that you didn't. Huh? You didn't hear? There was a shootout right in front of the bar. They closed all of Golden Yokocho down. Huh. They were saying something about hitmen suddenly pulling out guns and, and shooting. And then getting distracted by porn mags? They were trying to kill a man and a woman. Well, that's not good. Wait a minute. Yep. Yep. I told Mama about last night and about Knights at Laws, too. We are Knives at Laws. Lawyers. The bar counter. There's a TV on the wall. Dante, you want to watch Hiroka's promotional video? Who? <laughs> I appreciate that whether or not they really made sense, that they committed to 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 localize uh, translating all of the uh, the bits, all the side gags and puns and stuff. Whether or not they would actually be localized well. Menu. Beer tap. Beer. <laughs> what? Don't like beer? Was that supposed to be a joke? You say stuff like that all the time. <laughs> Ooh. All right. What do we got? Bottles on the counter. Anything else going around? St. Sebastian, right? Oh, hi, Tessa. Sofa. Table. So far, a sofa. Poster on the wall. How I learned to stop worrying and love the bum. I wonder what that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't 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 worry about it, Dante. Don't, just 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 don't worry about it. Flyer. Iris, let me introduce you to Mama's little sister. That's a fridge. Wow, rude, Dante. Some music playing over the radio. Right, is that everything? Mini board. Specials are written on the chalkboard. Hey, Dante. It says beignet custard on the board. What is that? I beer. Oh, right. whoa, sorry, I thought you said beer. Be <laughs> Imagine Nice at Laws is actually just a law firm and Irish really just hates lawyers because she shoplifted bubblegum as a kid or something, right? Mama, you better order them quick or we won't be able to control the rocket. I know, Wait, I what? know. Vernier thrusters. Oh, huh. I'll have the Vernier thrusters ready tomorrow. <laughs> what? What? What the fuck kind of joke? Uh, I. Uh, <laughs> And see, now I'm really like, damn, Dante being a huge jerk. Hi, Evie. Yeah. Oh, wait, you've been here. I already said. Whatever. I'm saying hello again. Everyone gets a second hello now. Nice had a bad video game opinions on their company account. That is true. Also, hello, Lucas, for the second time. I'm giving out second hellos. On drink? No, I'm okay. Oh, what should we ask? Mama, what are you doing? Hmm, just polishing the bonito. Dante, I found your ideal bear. Why? Thank me. You can thank me later. <laughs> Good one. Also, hello, oddball. You get a second hello. Why, indeed. Two hellos, the opulence. Right? I almost gave you a third, Evie. Three is right out. She's a delight. No, oh, aren't you nice? Are you looking for a job? Iris is still in high school. How about after you graduate? Starting rate is six million yen an hour. Date, I need a body so I can work here immediately. You won't get hired looking. <laughs> Iris is sitting by my side. Sorry for the late introduction. This is Iris. Nice to meet you. I'm Asa. You bet. Oh, sorry. Have it. 
I'm Aunt Iris. Oh my, you are so cute. Are you a virgin? You are. Come on, Mala. Oh, yeah. What a coincidence. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, that is, that that is absolutely the right response to that. You know what? Yeah, you you got it, I. But you, you you thank you for steering us out of these waters. Hi, Wheel Baron. Wrapped up your last re meeting. Yeah, welcome back in. How you doing, Wheel Baron? Oh, you don't say. <laughs> I feel yeah. I was got this down. Wow, what a coincidence. Me too. Sure came at the right time. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Running a gay bar is apparently damn lucrative. Apparently. Also, hello, Henri. You get a second hello. About nice oh. law. Sorry, honey, but I don't know a thing about that. You're an informant. I'm sure you must know something. I'm well versed in local information. I know all about Tokyo's underworld, but I can't say much about the rest of the. Fair world. enough. About the armed men. I think they must be foreign mafia. Some kind of international organization. Because they... They would do anything. Right, because money. Momo was telling us they don't seem like local Yakuza. Nice must have hired them. Sure, uh-huh. Summarize for me. Mama, I want to ask you something. What is it? Those gunmen were waiting for us. Did you tell anyone we were coming? That's right. We yeah, see, here it is, here it is, here it is. And that you were bringing Iris. Hmm. Well, I did tell one person. Who? Who? The person I was going to have you meet, of course. Same guy who gave Ren his watch. What's his name? Futa, I think. Futa Amanoma. <gasps> what? <sighs> what? That's Pewter. Wait, that's Pewter? Wait. Wait. When when were we told that? I knew he dressed like a fucking supervillain. Hobbies, magical girls. Nice. Skills, building models and imitating Vuvuzelas. <laughs> All right. Likes multiples of 16. Sure. All right. Dislikes bugs, cats, conservatives, and cyclops. All right. Sure. Name, Futa Amanoma. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's not good. And we also called Pewter after the... Oh, no. Yeah, uh-oh. Also, hello, Itapupu. You get a second hello as well. That's the last second hello I'm giving out. If you repost after this point, I'm not going to give you another second hello. That was, that was a small-time offer, and it's now over. Only first-time hellos from here on out. Oh. I want to see where we are on the flow chart. There's no one here. Where are we at? All right. Maybe he went home. No, that can't be. Pewter is definitely around here somewhere. How do you know that? Date, your intuition is correct. I am detecting a living organism nearby. I knew it. So why is he hiding from us? No third hellos? SK has hashtag canceled. I don't, I don't, I just, I don't have that many hellos to hand out. Is Pewter in here? No, he's not. Pewter is not in the metal shelves. I know. This pewter guy must be hiding inside the CRT monitor. What is he, a contortionist? Of course he's not in there. <laughs> this 
Strange strings of characters and figures scroll across the monitor. Of course Pewter is not there. Take this search more seriously. I I am taking it seriously. I just want to look around at so Okay, he might be in the lockers. Just a chair. No one's sitting in it. I know. This pewter guy must be hiding between the binders. What is he made of paper? Of course he's not in there. Yeah, but what if he was? Binder full of papers. Not pewter, though. Hmm. The room with the fucking sink machine is... Door to the sink room. Okay, so he's not over there. Iris. I think he's probably in the lockers if he's actually somewhere, but let's say hi to Iris first. Iris is looking around. There's that bastard. Law got him. Wait a minute. You're Renju's friend, okay? Uh, okay, I'll tell you everything. So he did help 89 get out. Fuck, I knew you dressed like a supervillain. You told those men that Iris and I were going to Golden Yokocho, didn't you? Yes, I did. Renju hired them. Renju did? God Which damn it. Mr. Okiura is in with Nice. Nice? See? Don't play dumb. I know you're with them. I don't know what you're talking See, about. See, and this is the cool I bit, is that there is an actual conspiracy... It's just not the one that that uh, Iris has convinced herself exists because of her. Uh, oof. Okay. Ooh, that's mm. so. There is something going on. It's just not. Did you help number eighty nine get away? How much does she know? Just answer the question. Yes, I did. It's been bothering me. How was number 89 able to escape from Metro so easily? Yeah. You were the one being held hostage. If God you were damn it, dude. Time, I wanted it to believe I sense. wanted to believe for a beautiful shining moment that this dude who dresses like a supervillain is just that's just his drip <laughs> and that he's not like in on the conspiracy or anything. It's just he's a normal guy who does his 9 to 5 and shows up looking like like he's fucking a silver age Batman villain. But no, we can't have nice things, can we? About Renju's watch. Is it true that you were the one who gave Renju his watch? Yes, that's true. There's no need to ask anything else. Why did Peter help Renju? His last answer was all I needed to hear. Ah, that's why Renju broke up. Oh. 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 That's why he divorced his wife. <laughs> you you, you could have just... That makes things make a lot more sense. Two days ago... Renju escaped. <laughs> Thank from you, Itapupu. That is the yeah, exactly. <laughs> Renju asked me on the phone to report everything about Shoko's murder case. That's what he wanted. Yesterday, the boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? I was conflicted. I thought hard about it, but it was Renju asking. Someone I love. And he sounded like he was on death's doorstep. He was begging for help. I couldn't say no. With my intelligence, I was quickly able to come up with a plan. You know what the results were. Oof. Oof. The escape happened exactly how I described earlier. We stand a gay couple who look like Pokemon villains and Raymond. Who look like a Pokemon villain and Raymond Animal Crossing. Yeah, they really... 
<laughs> he does have a fucking like unnamed Pokemon mafia team vibe to him, doesn't he? He looks like he's like the second most powerful person in like Team Galaxy or something. Though I wasn't being threatened with a gun. You were acting, huh? Just pretending to be his hostage. Yes. Did number 89 know about the plan? Of course. We discussed it when we were alone in the interrogation room. Naturally, he agreed. I imagine he would have taken any possibility of escape. Does look like the villain scientist from Sun and Moon? Yeah, or something Even like that, he yeah. Failed, he was already serving a life sentence. Why was Boss not present for his interrogation? Green visor goggles and all. I right? I want... I just... But I have wouldn't it have been a beautiful moment if this guy was just a normal dude punching... And this is just what he wore to work? Friends from my college days. I asked one of them to call up the boss. Okay. So why do they escape? I don't know. It's true. Please. Believe I, me. Mm, I love I love that we don't even get to see it. All you get is the audio cue of us of us uh <laughs> turning Ranger the gun on. But that he you know what I mean. Him. That's all I know. So where's Renju? Let's see. So where is Renju? Even if I knew, why would I tell you? Because you don't want more holes in your body than you already have. You can't. Why not? Date I didn't tell you all this because you were threatening me. I genuinely wanted you to know, to understand the truth, Date. What are you talking about? There's a variable you haven't considered. I made Iba. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> and you don't get it. Date, his hands. He's going to make Ibex. Dante! Come with me. Oh, fuck. And Iris still dies. Woo! Well, fuck. Pewter, why do you dress like that? I'm gay and a fashion disaster. Leave me alone. Damn it, Pewter. Date, calm down or it will compromise your ability Wait, to how die. is Iba still here? Didn't he just use the self-destruct thing? If you crash, you will not be able to save Iris. Where is she? I don't know. Wait, Moma put the thing on her. So then where the hell am I going? How would I know that? What about her phone's GPS? I tried. It's been turned off. Then... Gotta go see MoMA. It's just an extra precaution. Nice. Put it somewhere they won't find it. I think it was just a... Oh, it was just a jolt. Oh, okay. I, th I thought... I Because they talked earlier about... they And they set it up. Like, oh yeah. Iba has a self... Iba has a the ability to self-destruct. So one, I, I thought it was a Chekhov's gun scenario. They brought up the fact that Iba can self-destruct. So I'm like, oh, this is going to be Iba self-destructing. As we've been kind of like primed to think about. Iba, call Mola now. On it. Hey, Dante, what's up? Explain the situation as fast as I could. I know, I know. Yell at me later. Right now, I need you to tell me where she is. God damn. After a short pause, Moma yelled out. Koto, Ariake, Harbor Warehouse District. What? That's where the cold storage warehouse Again? Is. It's going to end up here again? It was the equivalent of an eye doctor puff eye machine, I like to imagine. Oh, fair enough. I guess... I guess we're, uh, my original thought for this scene was that we must be hallucinating Iba because she just destructed and she's somehow still here, but if we're making the phone call and getting information, that's not the I've case. Got it. Okay. Thanks. I'm on my way there too. 
There we go. And she's dead again. Dead in the forklift again. Dead in the forklift again. Dead in the forklift again. Anyone else for dead in the forklift again? Not this time. There's actual people here now. Okay. Jesus Christ. We're gonna have to fucking solid snake our way in? It's a visual novel. How do you expect me to do that? Excellent. One vote for dead in the forklift again. Alright, let's take a look around. Those are the guys who attacked us at Golden Yoga Show. This seems a little extreme. I mean, if you've got the... I mean, listen. When you've got an armed... Like, when you've hired a squad of armed goons, every problem looks like it needs that as a solution, right? It's the hammer and want of a nail thing. How many? I detect more than we can see. They are positioned all that over... Idle agency money so coming in handy when you want to commit murder in peace, huh? Apparently. Each of them carries an assault rifle. Getting through will not be an easy task. Looks Are we gonna have another silly shooting sequence? There are portable barricades set up in two areas in front of the warehouse. Huh. Portable? They can be moved and erected easily. Okay. Portable barricades, so we're not driving up, but I mean, we can easily hop that. And the fucking crane with the thing up there, okay. Fuck is up here. What the fuck else do you want me to look at, game? I, d I don't know what else it wants me to focus on here. Y'all, am I dumb? Like, more so than usual right now. I feel like I am steadily losing it here. Found it. Okay. Funny how zooming in on it changes the angle from which we see it, but whatever. There's a black van parked at the end of the harbor. Anyone inside? There are two ways to find out. Walk over, knock on the window, and open the door. Or you can use the x-ray mode. Right. Got to use x-ray mode. Oh, no. It's oriented to the side. Never mind. I'm just being sassy for no reason. That's it's Iris. Okay, so she's still she alive okay? at this point. Unknown. But at least we know she's alive. The issue now is reaching her. Okay. Our goal is clear. Time to do another silly shooting game. All right, let's do this. Hold on. Are you dense? They're going to blow your brains out. They got guns? Yeah, and not just one or two. They all have assault rifles, and they're everywhere. You can tell? Even in the dark? Have you forgotten that I found out what was inside <laughs> your safe? <laughs> she has not been forklifted yet. Right, right. That's the important <laughs> thing, is that she has not been I forklifted. Have superpowers. I can see in the dark, and I have x-ray vision. Oh. Shit, you were serious? Sorta, of, kinda. I nodded and told him about the rest. Iris is in the van at the end of the harbor. There are two portable barricades on the way there. 
Lady Dot started to stare into his eyes. We need a plan. Can you help me? Yeah, sure I can. But I need to ask you a few things first. Sure. That appears to be a military grade. I never thought we'd be relying on MoMA, but you know, any port in a storm, as they say. MoMA, that vehicle. That's one of ours. I got it from the army. It's bulletproof. Even the windows. I thought you were trying to run a non-violent gang. Well, that's exactly why. We got rid of our offense, so we needed a little defense. I suppose that huh. makes sense. Huh. Okay. Sure. Anything else in this scene we can look at? No, just the empty harbor. Okay. They're even numbered. Thank you. What did you want to ask? The jackoff who took Tessa. Pewter, right? What's his deal? I think Renju asked him to do all of this. MoMA ex date Renju? enemies to lovers AU. Uh, apparently. I don't know. If this guy wasn't so aggressively straight, I might believe it. Oh, that's right. Renju was looking for Tessa. Not only that. In a parallel world, I found Iris's body at an Okiura fishery warehouse. I still don't know what to make of the parallel world I got thing. A bad feeling I don't about believe this. that's what he saw. I like, I st I'm still keep coming back to like, what did he? What was it that he saw when he was in in the uh, in the cold storage warehouse at first? When he thought he saw Tessa's body, Iba wasn't there with him. So, and she's mentioned several times that Date is medicated with something. It could be that we hallucinated that as well, and where, but. And the game has primed us to think about hallucination with uh, with the Tessa ending there. So. So these bad guys, why did they take Tessa? The van's at the end of the row. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse is right there. We must be planning on taking her inside. Right now, they're probably getting it ready. They've got lookouts waiting outside. Why are they so... D Here's the thing I don't get. Why are they so desperate to kill her in this one particular way? And how was it that we, and, and this all goes back to, how did we see her body like that at the very, very, very beginning of the game in Mizuki Somnium? How the hell did, just, all right, what do you want to have? Tessa's in the van down there, right? Yeah. In that case, why don't we go around the back? Unfortunately, that is impossible. The warehouses are flush with the water. The only path to the van is down the front. Well, at least we tried. Shit. Guess it won't be that easy. All right, well. Let's get going. So, what's the plan? Uh, well. It's coming up with a plan. A car emerged from the darkness. Who the fuck is it? Is it Boss? Oh. Hi there. Mizuki, Ota, what are you doing here? What do you mean? You contacted us. What? What? We did what now? I sent an aisle message to Oh, them. okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, that could have been. Yeah, I know. Let's get a fucking 12-year-old and a useless fucking otaku Dante, here. That'll help us. If something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll save you no matter what, Iris. Promise me. I promise. All right, sure. A promise is an inviolable protocol. It must be followed. <sighs> All right. Do you know what a white lie is? No. I am an AI. You always pull out that excuse when it's convenient. <laughs> I like that little back and forth with them. Besides, Mizuki can be very helpful. And Ota? Perhaps he can be used as a shield. <laughs> even I was like, yeah, Ota's basically a meat shield. And that's cruel, even for me. Uh, Date? Who are the kids? Mizuki is probably the best fighter kid? out of them. I believe you. Who's the old man? Have you seen her bench? Sighed and shook in my head. I made the introductions quickly. So your sixth grade roommate and a neat who's trying to get his light novel published? What good are they? Great question. 
You don't look very useful yourself, he's old man. He's got a gun, at least. Yeah, you're all short and scrawny. I don't know. He's got a weapon. Shut up! I'm not short. The Earth is just big. You know what? The wise words, my friend. Wise, wise words. That argument is fallacious. And you're short too. No way. This isn't even my final form. Oh, he is gonna take estrogen in like five years. All my joints are folded up. I can get three times bigger than this. Mizuki is at least a city level. Pa uh, city level. Really? Liar. This went on for a bit. I finally got fed up and shouted at them. Listen up, you idiots. <laughs> this is my boomstick. Because you're all ASET fans. Water. Wet. Fierce. Upset. Regret. ASET. Gambling. Roulette. Bed. ASET. God damn. Cool, let's make more noise while we're trying to sneak around. All right, let's work together. Momo is a creepy pervert because he's so funny whenever he isn't being one. Yeah, yeah, he really he really is, is the thing. Like, he's like he's got some genuinely funny moments. Yeah! This is our time to unite. Let's show them what we're made of. Yeah! Shoulder to shoulder, heart to heart, I, we stand. We're fighting shoulder off armed guards with nothing but... None. Two kids and a guy with a rifle. This is gonna be great. Oda actually returns to Nirvana as a trans girl. I'm gonna pass out for like three different reasons. <laughs> honestly, honestly, it would be like the best possible version of his story. Good, it's working. That would actually be pretty great. Here's the plan. Ota, can you drive that vehicle? It's bulletproof, so don't worry. They can't shoot you. Yes, sir! Moma, I need your trigger finger. Get on the back with me and shoot any gunman you can see. You got it! And Mizuki, you're our secret weapon. If it all goes south, we're gonna need your powers. Leave it to me. Uh, wh what? I... Okay. Her powers? Hey, Dante. What are you gonna have her do? She might not look it. But she's something what else. What are you... They won't take her down without a fight. What? Mm hmm... She's like twelve, Dante. You sure? About I'm, I'm this? kind. Of, it's we. Is it? I'm. Um, is it weird that I'm with Moma on this one? Her powers. Yup. You should worry more about yourself, Moma. Her powers. So, now what? Is, what do you mean her? But you can't just say her powers and leave the this explanation at through. that. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but our objective is to reach the end of the harbor. We need to rescue Iris from that van and then get the hell out of here. Any questions? All right. Let's do this. Yeah, let's lock and load. We're coming for you, Tessa. On three. One, two, three, go! Hey, hey, boss. We heard some folks yelling around the corner. It sounds like they're trying to, like, should we just, can we move her, like, into the warehouse? I know it's not ready yet, but can we, like, move her in there so they don't? Yeah, okay. Cool. Operation Iris Rescue. All right, am I going to have some more uh, fucking quick time events? I'm all about those quick time events. You know me. Oh, it's almost 2 o'clock. We should probably take a break here soon. I would have realized he wasn't in love with Iris so much as he admired her for being right. his idealized Let's self. Do this. Right? Good for like good for him. That's the happy ending. Kill him! The powers belong to Mizuki. The extraordinary abilities of one Mizuki Okira. <laughs> My <laughs> oh yeah, the powers belong to Mizuki. Uh, the 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 extraordinary abilities belong to one Mizuki. Or Okura, Mizuki's powers. The powers made exclusively for M Mizuki Okura. Though Mizuki's powers, I I can't do the Kronk thing. I don't remember how it goes, but y you get the. What are we doing? This isn't a fucking video game, Dante. You can't just blow up a barrel and ha cause the fucking splash dam. Okay. Actually, it is a video game. Yeah, go wild. Do it. 
Someone put sealed fire in a can, and if you hit the can with a bullet, it'll explode. Is it a good plan? Just listen. You still have that pornographic magazine, right? Don't act innocent. Last night, you went back to Golden Yokocho. You found one of those magazines and hit it in your... How did you know? On your left eye. Dante. Why would you... Of course I would Dude, know. Someone, someone, here's the thing. Like, Someone needs to tell Date about the internet. Come on, bro. In any case, throw it at the drum. No. Why not? This is a collector's item. It's SSR. I can't just <laughs> throw it away. <laughs> he plays gotchas too? So what is more important to you, Iris or Eros? Arrow. Hmm? <sighs> Iris. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Hurry. They're coming. Uh, uh, wait. Can't kill. Goodbye, sweet prince. <laughs> Take this! I almost didn't get that. What? I can't believe this Could works be the second time. The legendary! Oh, this is amazing! No one back home will believe me! All right, now blow up the barrel, right? Video game logic? I Maybe this is an elaborate homage to Metal Gear Solid. Date, now! Shoot the drum! <laughs> Now's no time for crying. The drum contains flammable liquids. Do you understand? Why do people keep dr oil drums full of flammable liquids out in areas that can be easily shot? Also, Fine. is being Got shot it. enough to ignite a... a is that, or, like, I know it's video game logic, but that's definitely not how that works IRL, right? Oh god, that timer is not generous, huh? What? Get it together, Dante! Do 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 do, ba ba ba. Hey, okay, it was an elaborate Metal Gear Solid homage. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Date now, now the drum. This is hard. Fairness, Dante has some fancy high tech gun with like 10 bullet types. He is still. Oh, Spl the explosion oh. juice tastes good to drink, and the barrels are the best form of storage. Apparently. Just ram it over. Literally, just ram it over, though. Kill more of them, and no more oil drums to blow up. I'm at my limit here. Wait. Wait. Don't, Mizuki. Not yet. You must not unseal the power in your uh, right arm. Any ideas? Hmm. Yatoda. Alright. Time to knock this thing down. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we died once and got to hear the Date! 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 That, that was pretty good. Date, last night, you picked up something else, didn't you? I told you, don't act innocent. I'm talking about the panties and bra you shot down in Golden you can just, Show. He, here's the thing. You know you can just buy those, right? In like a store or online? I needed it as evidence. Enough with your pathetic excuses. You can just buy them. Just aim under the container. Damn it, Date! I was gonna give this to Reika as a gift. Someone else's underwear? Wine and underwear are best when aged. That's a famous saying. In I. <laughs> Jesus is Christ, dude! Date, what are you doing? Iris is in trouble! <laughs> God damn it, Date, you are a fucking disaster. Date! Why doesn't people like call him a perp? You could just buy them online! 
Okay, okay. And people aren't gonna find call them. Right? You're more of a pervert for getting them from someone else. That's fucked up. I can't believe they thought this scene was so funny that we needed to reprise it. Also, like, that's not. I hope you weighted Goodbye. them with something. Like, if you don't weight them with something, what the hell? then like they're not gonna go very far. You can't throw that. Like, you can't throw them very. This must be a too light from not heaven. Enough. So wet, as wet as it gets. So dirty. Shameless. Absolutely shameless. <sighs> All right. Good. That went well. Now, if we can cause that container above them to fall. All right. Guess we're shooting shooting that down now. I see it. I can shoot the cable. Can you make the shot? Yeah. Then let's go. It's still a really cool gun. It's so dumb. It is really dumb. Oh shit, move! Let's go. You really couldn't have just Roger. like driven through that? All right, whatever. I think him crying losing over his magazine is funny because Date crying is inherently funny. I believe it. All right, next barrier. We're almost there. The last one. Once we get through here, then. What's the plan? Find it. My turn. What the? All right. What the hell's about to? Wait, Mizuki. Her iron pipe. Oh, that idiot. What the hell is happening here? Her iron pipe that she loves. What the hell is she doing? She's 12. What the fuck? Date, Mizuki can't do this alone. What do you mean she can't? She can't do this full stop. What the fuck? Loma, cover me. Hey, wait up. Oh, Mizuki, I'm so sorry. You are going to die. What the fuck? How is she not dead 12 times over? People are shooting her point blank. <laughs> her powers though. Apparently her powers. Seriously? Don't test me, motherfucker. Whoa. Momo. She's a ninja? Oh, apparently. But she's also got she's also gotten shot point blank like 12 times with assault rifles at this point. How have... <laughs> the fucking... The fucking, uh, chin. Good job, MoMA. What the fuck is even happening? Is there either fake guns or Mizuki is a reality warper? She must be a reality warper. That is the only explanation for any of this. Thank you. Please tell me we get to hug Mizuki at some point. God damn it. Girl needs it. My goddess, your chariot has arrived. No one's asked question about Mizuki is why is she so strong? Right? Ota, mission complete. Alright, got it! Why is she so strong though? Even with stormtrooper syndrome, some of them should have hit, right? 
computer finally comes out to check. It's all div atavism. According to legend, Mizuki's grandpa was raised by dolphins. This sounds like a made-up story, but it's true. Jesus Christ. All right, sure. Superpowers that allowed him to live while being raised by dolphins. Those genes live on in Mizuki. She didn't realize her true pro or potential until she started training. All right. Drove us fast as we could in all different directions. The rain poured endlessly. The neon lights of the city blurred faintly through the drops of rain. This game is a fucking wild ride, let me tell you. So we went to Ikame Shrine, huh? Alright. Date, Moma and Mizuki contacted us. They're all safe. Good. I breathed a long sigh of relief. The offering box. A Shinto shrine. Looks rather solemn. Alright, well she's alive for now at least. Tree. A rope hanging from the bell. Sacred straw rope. Guardian dog. A lantern. A stone monument. The arch. The ch chizia. You wash your hands and face here. All right. Oh, I want to look at the flowers. Damn it! There we go. Pretty flowers are blooming. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm a lot better. What the actually. fuck? I'm sorry, by the way, for everything. During our escape, Iris got motion sickness. I decided to pull over at Ikume Shrine so she could rest. Oh, and thank you. I never thanked you for saving me. You should be thanking those three. Some bodyguard I am. I put you in danger. That's not true. If it wasn't for you, I would have... Anyway, there's nothing else to say but thank you. About the Winter Iris. Looking at the iris again? Oh, yeah. I can't see it well in the rain. You must really like that flower. Of course, we share the same name. Iris, the rainbow goddess. Yeah, that's what uncle taught me. The uncle again. Number 89, huh? Perhaps it is not the flower itself that Iris likes. Did Peter say anything? Nothing in particular. I didn't talk to him at all in the car. What about the group of gangsters? They were all speaking different languages, so I didn't understand anything. Huh, okay. Let's hear what happened. Do you think the fruit of immortality really exists? Legend about the shrine? Yeah. I told you yesterday, I don't believe in that stuff. Oh no, but she wants it because she knows she's gonna... Oh no! Oh no! Oh. But you do believe in parallel worlds and secret societies. Because I experienced that in Iris Asamu. This could be a negative side effect of the sink. It is possible that you've been emotionally compromised by Iris's morbid inner consciousness. Emotion? Yeah, you played too much Minecraft, well, Date. There is no point in discussing. About Uncle. I used to love Uncle. Not like romantically. I was 12 at the time, and Uncle was already in a relationship. You mean with your mom? Oh, you knew about that? I've heard a lot. Like the Okonomiyaki incident? Yeah, the picture I drew. Right. We were always. Yeah, like that. that's definitely gotta be the assassin guy. We always acted silly and played around and stuff. I remember that in sixth grade, Uncle and I used to play hand games. Like what? Um, like ratty cakes. Ratty cakes? Hmm? It's like patty cakes mixed with rock, paper, scissors. What? Okay, sure. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it? Okay. okay. See, why do we have memories of Tiny bake. Iris then? Put it in the oven. Dante has... Rock. 
This is the best Nishijo rock, paper, scissors I gag win, ever. I win. Yay! Dante plays Minecraft and shoots a boiling tea kettle when he hears it sizzling because he thinks it's a creeper. <laughs> What's Uncle's real name? I don't know. I only called him Uncle. Mama called him Falco. Yeah, I'm with you, Date. Falco. Falco Lombardi. Fucking Wait, is called that a it. Funny name? Told you. I mean, okay, that one wasn't too hard to figure out, but still, called it. Sort of weird for a Japanese man. Oh, maybe he wasn't Japanese. I never found out where he was from. Falco Lombardi. He can. It appears that Hitomi and the assassin number eighty-nine were dating. What? Now you have to take the penalty. Oh, okay. It, it's up, up, side to side, up, down, pinch. <laughs> Did she just Konami code his face? <laughs> Damn, Falco wouldn't be in prison if he just learned to wave dash. Come on, why not shine? Comes out frame one. And number 89 is with Renju now. What the hell is going on here? I didn't keep my promise. Promise? Did you forget? I told you that I would tell you who my late night visitor was if you went on a date. Yeah, we kind of just let that fall by the wayside. All right. And we went on a date, so guess I'll tell yeah, you Yeah, who now. was it? Sunday at 2 a.m. I was visited by... Falco Lombardi? Renju Okuma. It was Renju. What? He seemed really sick. Probably because of his injury. At the time, I had no idea what had happened to him. He was sweating buckets, and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. He seemed really desperate. I couldn't say no. Huh. So I got into his rental car. Okay. We went somewhere. I don't know where. Some deserted building. Mr. Okira got out of the car, then grabbed my hand. He tried to pull me inside. I got scared. So I why? I my hand away and ran. Why are they so insistent on... Why are they so insistent on killing her if she's going to die in, like, a few months? Right? Like, what's the, what's the point of going through this whole dog and pony show if she's going to die on her own. Can use your deflector shield, but you can't deflect the moral ambiguity of her criminal actions. Just watch me! Shine, 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 shine. I can multi-shine like no one's business. Did you do after you ran away? Well, I didn't go home. I thought he might come back. I just walked around and went into a bunch of stores, restaurants, coffee shops, net cafes. I was afraid that he would try to call me, so I turned off my phone. Reasonable. And then at night, around 7, I think, I turned on my phone and got a Nile message from Mizuki. I want to stay at your place. I met up with her and took her home. I thought having her around would comfort me. I don't know. What happened to Renju? I don't know. I haven't seen him or spoken to him since. Why didn't you tell me this? Mr. Ogira has done so much for me. He took care of me as a kid. He helped me at Lemniscape. God damn it. I wanted to trust him. No matter what happens, I can't think of him as a bad person. Got it. I mean, he never did anything bad to me. He came to my house at 2 in the morning and tried to take me to an abandoned building, but you never know. Maybe he wanted to show me Iris? Some flowers or honey. something that he found. Honey. Or it was like a prank. He was some creepy guy showed up at my door at 2 a.m. and tried to take me to an abandoned building and I ran away. Am I the asshole? That's what I thought at the time. That's what I kept telling myself. But after hearing everything you've told me, I can't see Mr. Okira the same way. Maybe he's a part of Nice. Maybe he's trying to... Where do you take you exactly? Iris, I need you to tell me one thing. Where did Renju take you? Where did he take you exactly? It's been closed for eight years. The chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. That's not even the warehouse. Okay, so... 
she didn't even get taken to the place we have supposedly saw her die. So, that's not it. Huh. Alright, let's take a quick break, everyone. You all know the drill. Stand up and walk around for a bit. Drink some water. Eat some food. Do all those little things you gotta do to take care of yourself. Uh, I'll be back in 10. When I come back, we will go to that plant.
I'm back. Alright, got some water. Took a little moment. I am feeling refreshed. Am I the asshole for not cooking enough chicken nuggets for my husband? And he threw my children in the fire? I feel bad and I could have done more. Am I the asshole? Yeah, probably. Should have cooked more chicken nuggets. That, that, that's the takeaway here, of course. Alright, fucking abandoned factory time. Is this the place? Yes. Where did Renju try to take you? That door in the back. Okay. Door in the back. What the fuck is any of this? Alright. And what's back there? Waiting. Haha, <laughs> the missing fucking machine, of course. Of course it's the missing... St ah, of course it is. I should have called that. What is this? A sink machine. Though it appears to be slightly different than the one in Abyss. Could this be the prototype Peter was talking about? The Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen six years ago. Yeah. Okay. But what is it doing here? And why is it on? Do they not know how to, like, hey, Iris, are you save okay? electricity? They don't have to leave it on all the time. No one's here. And Iris, having a tumor moment. Iris, stay with me! Date, Iris's vital signs are going critical. What? Why? Unknown, but I believe the issue is with her brain. Her brain? Yep, here we go. Part of her brain is experiencing massive failure. Oof. If this continues... Let's get her to a hospital. Impossible. You do not have enough time. I estimate that Iris's brain can last only 10 to 15 more minutes before the damage is irreparable. How do you know that? I have scanned and analyzed her thoroughly. Her symptoms mm. indicate that she will die. Okay, minutes. sure. So we're going to sync with her, I guess. Cuz that'll help. Sync. What? I'll use the sync machine here to go inside. How is that going to help? That will not cure her condition. Be like, no, that's not going to help anything. I'm not trying to cure her. 2 days ago, I saw her dead body. After that, we went into Sosajima's brain. And in his somnium, I saved Iris. Somehow, I saved Iris in the real world, too. God damn it, so now we're going full rabbit... All right. Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. So now we're... Okay. If I do the same thing again... You think you can save her? Yes. Iva, please. Uh-huh. Is that an order? And I suppose I have no choice. My mission is to support you. I feel weird ordering her to do that. Date, oh. this device is a prototype. It is not identical to the one at Abyss. You said that already, so... I do not know how to reset it. There must be a manual of some kind. We need to find that before we begin. A manual of some kind. Got it. Sinker's chair. Person sitting here does the sinking. That controls the sync machine. So if we use the machine can be activated. Okay. But we need the manual first. So we're gonna need the manual. Surgical tray. That's not good. Subject's chair. The person sitting here is the subject of the sinking. Prototype sync equipment. I have no idea why this is here. We need to find a manual to operate it. A sink. <laughs> a sink. In the sink room. Medical simulation mannequin. It's creepy. Yeah, why are they here? Bottle of chemicals. No manual here. An overhead crane. The hell were they trying to do here? Plastic bucket. Nothing inside. A normal mirror.
It's a vise. Oil drum. Sorry, I'm just looking around at everything before we start checking the shelves. Why is it red outside? That does not look... Why is it red outside? What the fuck is going on? Why is it right? Why do they why did they put it in a room with a hole in the ceiling? This thing is just exposed to the elements. How is this thing even functional? It's a chair. Like really, how is this thing not water damaged at this point? Lots of books, but I don't see a manual. CRT monitor, nothing on the screen. That shelf is full of medical chemicals. This guy is menstruating. He's doing something. Let me see this and just immediately get distracted by the whole Iris dying thing. Right? Still, like, what the hell? They couldn't have found anywhere else to keep this. It's like an operating table. Like, you see this bit and you're like, okay, everything looks normal here. And then you look over here, wait, hold on. There's no way this is safe. Alright, let's check the shelves. Found it. I don't believe it. What is it? Why don't you believe, Date? What is going on? Her right eyeball is. What did what did he just do to her? Date, are you ready? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait. let's go. Wait, something about using this new sync machine requires the person to lose their eyeball. That's what it is, right? That that's got to be what it is. Somehow, and it's not actually that we're syncing anymore. Something else has to be happening here. Hi, you to boo boo. Shit, I gave you a third one. Fuck. Minecraft. Shovel Forge again? This looks kind of like the other time I synced with Iris, but. Gotta go and get out. Atmosphere yeah, you now. do. Hmm. By the way, what happened to your usual appearance? I decided to hold back this time. This is no time to be playing around. Putting that aside. You want to help Iris, correct? Then we need to hurry. So what do so we So this need is to do? the shrine then. Care to ask the owner of this world? Okay. She's lost consciousness, even in her own somnium. That proves how critical her condition is. This is not a good thing to be doing here. Whoa. All right. What was that? I do not Okay, know, so she wants us to give her the fruit of immortality from the fucking shrine, right? The fruit of immortality, huh? But I don't see any fruit. We need to do something about this beam of light first. I've seen that monument before. But back then. Hmm. Somnium scan. Activate. I love fucking Minecraft Iva still. She's very cute. Okay, so mental lock number one is the beam of light. The number two is the entire thing. Okay. Number three is the monument. And number four is Iris herself. Okay. Save Iris. Okay. Let's just drop a hot save real quick. I 
All right. Iris is unconscious. Huh. Let's investigate this real quick. So the beam of light is coming Why from her. Why can't we wake Iris up? If we woke her up forcefully, hmm. she might become mentally and physically exhausted. Curing tumors by playing Minecraft? Wish our world's doctors thought of that, we right? We don't know if it is even possible for her to wake up. The core is... It's the same one I saw in the last sink. If I touch the core like last time... Even in the Somnium world, it might be better to not put too much burden on Iris. You're right. Okay. Well... I saw this iris during the previous sink. Let's look at this. The beam of light is passing through. If there was a monument on this pedestal, it would hit the iris beam just right. You're right. It doesn't seem like we can do anything else here. Yeah. Bring the monument over and we can put it into the iris beam. Excuse me. Could what else the do iris you beam? Light that. Light beam the is The iris fine. beam. All right, so we go grab that. Do that first. Egg-shaped monument. An egg-shaped monument. Looks more like a sugar cube to me. Let's go ahead and use a timey. <laughs> Still cute. This is your brain on Minecraft, everyone. I see. Putting this here cuts off the light. I feel like I've seen this in a movie. Don't you mean you've seen this in Iris's Somnium? Just put it down. Or in a movie. All right, cool. Now what happens? Hmm? Oh, that. I guess I guess the uh, the other the other clue is that there are other pedestals with more with eggs on top of them all around. No, this is. I see. Did you figure something? Supposed out? to make a star, huh? This might turn into a pentagram. Oh, I get it. That means... Yes. I wonder what... That I can't read any of the words way. that are kind of on the floor right now. I wonder what... Anyone know kind of what the general vibe of the stuff currently printed on the floor is? A Chozuya. Let's investigate this first. Hi there, buddy. You again? God, the fucking guy that looks like he came out of a, a fucking creepypasta. What's up? All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, lucky me. This man again. Did this you man? See that, Dante? Isn't that a Guilty Gear thing? I don't think that's the reaction you're supposed to have. A Chozuya. All right, let's try to get him out. Let me see. Hmm, there's some... That worked. That man. I don't know what the purpose of that dude Quiet. is, but because I don't know the Guilty Gear lore, but complete the pentagram. Do it. What? Uh oh. The fucking AI ball. They have appeared before. It may symbolize Iris's insecurity. The AI ball is here again. Whoa! Well, this isn't good. We have to deal with them before we find the fruit of immortality. Well, what do you want me to do? They don't want us to complete the pentagram. Is that why they attack the Chozuya and Iris's? But this pedestal has not been attacked. They cannot attack it for some okay. reason. Okay. You think so? What other explanation could there be? As long as there is even a slight This man is in fact a kind of creepypasta. Try. Oh, is it the is is it right. the space time man? Thinking about what worked previously, we need to make a pentagram, but the attack has scrambled everything. We do not have time for trial and error. Think carefully. Okay. Sure. Guess we'll pick this up. Understood. Where would you like me to place it? A pedestal with nothing. I 
guess we place the monument on top here, right? Save a little bit of time. What does that mean? I was merely trying to lighten the mood. I appreciate the thought, but... Oh. Alright, let's take a look at our map. Shape monument blue. Okay. Egg -shaped monument. I guess we pick that up too, right? Huh. Like Alright, let's take a look. Okay, I think I see the outline of what they want. There's one on that pedestal already. A pedestal. I guess we place it here. It came back. Perhaps okay, so it doesn't go there. The other ones are on the very fringe there. It's not that one, so it's going to be the one over here then. Right. Yeah, it's going to be this one. Right? Yeah, it's going to be this one. Okay, I guess we'll save a little bit of time when we can. Sure. Okay. What? Why isn't it working? The placement of the monuments must be incorrect. So you cannot call it a true pentagram if the shape is broken. At the very least, the placement needs to be symmetrical. Got it. I'll try again. I don't understand. So then, what are the fixed points here? Huh. So then what are the fixed points? One is on Iris' body, right? And the other is on... The yellow monument. Okay. I guess. Huh. I. Uh. I feel like I'm missing something here. Okay, so. Iris is a fixed point, right? And then the yellow pedestal is a fixed point. Okay, some. The fuck is it asking of me? It wants me to make a star, but like I don't. Okay, so maybe put it on top of the dogs? Understood. Where would you like 
Hmm. This is not. Yeah, we don't. We are losing tons of time here. So where are the yellow pedestals then? There's one yellow pedestal. So there's only one place this thing can go. A pedestal. The light. Is complete. All right, let me get it. Let me take a look at this. Okay, so the problem is that I did the. Oh, there's other ones that are already set that I can move around. Y'all, I feel like I'm being a dumbass here. Why is it the placement of the money? You cannot call it a tr at the very least. Got it. <laughs> okay, so I don't want to place that yet until. All right, let's use the rest of this time to figure it out. A pedestal. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Understood. Well, let's try to just make it symmetrical this time then. Okay. You're running out of time, but that's fine. Alright, let's try let's do a retry now. Let's run that checkpoint. All right, I'd, so we don't want to place the yellow one until everything else is in place. That is what I am understanding about this. Okay, so that one has one. I guess the easiest thing to do would be see what... what bits are mirrored where, right? An egg shape. All right, so let's try placing it here. Understood. A pedestal with a moon. All right, let's take another look. Okay, we're gonna move this one. A pedestal. I'm gonna take this one to the back. Where would you like so this is the, yeah, this is the port. This is the pattern I had originally done. A Understood. Okay. That should do it. 
I hope. Now we're fucked. Okay, let's see. The light. I see. Okay, so what happened last time was as soon as I placed the thing on, it immediately ran the cutscene, and I didn't have a chance to move everything else. So I assumed that meant I, I, I got it wrong, but it's no, I had the right idea. Ugh, fucking hell. What? Whatever. The world is It's breaking down. Well, that's not good. I think the thing that didn't seem to connect to me was that as soon as I put the yellow one on, that was the trigger for uh Or as soon as as soon as all five were placed on top, that was the trigger for starting the pentagram light thing. Huh. What about the rest of the Somnium? Hello? Oh. I see. The Shovel Forge world disappeared. I am back to my usual appearance. Oh. What about I like Minecraft. It appears that she's Ava. unharmed. Okay. Iba, the door to the shrine opened. Okay. Making progress. Is that the fruit of immortality? It appears to be the seed of a citrus fruit of some. How would you describe it? Would you describe it as citrusy? But we need the actual citrusy. Fruit. That voice said something about the fruit of immortality. I wasn't expecting it to be literal. Some believe that the fruit of immortality is a Tachibana orange. The Tachibana huh. orange comes from a variety of evergreen trees. So we are looking for some kind of fruit. Fruits have edible flesh surrounding the seeds. Right, but if we only have the seed. This is a dream world. If we huh. plant it now, it may grow. Okay. Iba, you ready to slash and burn? I see. If we plant it there. Citrusy, there you go. It sprouted. This must be a positive sign. Huh. If ashes is compost, then all we need is. Okay, well, we're. Pass number two. Not a lot of time left, but at least we know what to do now, right? It's a Chozuya. Why is it not broken? Dig? Sure. You do know this isn't... But there's a pickaxe on the ground there. Pickaxe? <laughs> You're right. But what? It's got pink and blue? Pickaxe even looks the hell does strange. it Maybe Iris left it behind because she wanted you to use Okay, it. so that's Wait. Pink and blue. So this is something about both Iris and Mizuki somehow? Perhaps. Are that or trans rights? One one of the t both. Both actually. Raining. Well, we got the fruit. This game is so strange. So this is the fruit of immortality. We need to hand this over to Iris. Right. Hurry. Wait for me, Iris. I'm coming. Huh. And then we're going to learn that no... Date, changing stuff in Somnium doesn't actually change anything in the real world. Adult. Iris 
is unconscious. Give fruit of immortality. All right. Let's hope this works. Well, we did a fancy thing in the Somnium. Now time to get out and realize that it didn't accomplish anything. No matter how this turns out, it's not going to be good. Because if it turns out to have worked, then our understanding of the world is fundamentally shaken. And if <laughs> it turns out not to have worked, then we've got a dying girl. Either way, this sucks. All right. Let's see what happens. Yep. We had to pull her eye out to do it. Oh, good. You're awake. Fuck. I knew it. I fucking knew it. So that's... That's what... That's why all the corpses have their eyes pulled out. It's because they needed them in the fucking thingy. Sorry. Tate, thank you for everything you've done for me. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm gonna die, aren't I? No. Don't talk crazy. I synced with you to save you. This has to be the timeline where you live. I don't want to die yet. I don't want to die. Don't Still can't believe part of it was we had to die. take their fucking eyeballs out. Jesus Christ. I, I met you. I wanted to spend more time with you. I wanted to go places. I'll take you. I'll take you wherever you want. I'll take you to Ijerup, Kunishir, Shikaton, Habamai, anywhere you want, Iris. Really? Yes. I I'm gonna be okay? Of course. You won't die, I promise. Okay. I'm glad. I'm not gonna die. I can be with you forever. Of course you can. You're gonna live, Iris, forever and ever. You'll become a grown woman, get married, have kids. I'll even babysit them for you. Tate, thank you. These past few days have been so much fun. Please, Mr. Tate, you can't leave me! You don't need to flashback us. We were there for it. Your back is so warm, Mr. Tate. You don't need to flashback us. We, we, we just played it. It's it's fine. It feels like I've met you before. So what the fuck is then going go on? Then go on a date with me. Uh. And the Greek goddess of rainbows. Yeah, that's a good line to just pull out of nowhere. Sure. You're the only person I can trust. Well, the Dante. fuck did... Ah. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, That's scissors, not even our flashback rock, to look paper, at. Scissors, shoot. 
Can you tell me one last thing? I've been looking. Are you? No, no, Iris. You can't die. Please, Iris. Yeah, this is what we knew was going to happen. Iris. <sighs> oh, fuck. Iris! <sighs> what the fuck? So we know the removed eye now is from the prototype of the uh, sync engine. And we get a credit sequence for this one. We get a credit sequence for this. Oh my god. We didn't get a credit sequence for the other thing, but we do for this one. What the fuck? What the fuck, y'all? Time to get the other endings? I guess. Yeah. I guess. Fuck. First proper ending. I <laughs> I don't know what to make of this yet. I feel like we've only we've only seen like a tiny little fraction of like a tiny little wedge of the pie at this point. There's other like obviously, obviously we're gonna play the rest of them. I'm going to let the credits roll for our first time through because I always want to make, you know, as long as it's not going to take like 15 fucking minutes, it's people that worked on it deserve their moment, you know? What a fucking game this is. Huh. So, I guess then, we'll, I, I'll, we'll have to look at the, uh, we'll have to look at the, we'll have to look at the, uh, the, the map of where all the choices are, and see what other inflection points, because we can go back to the very first one, which apparently splits the game into a Mizuki route somehow? Yeah, I sure something, huh? I don't know what to make of it at this point. There are so many things going on, and, like, I thought I had a handle. When we started, I thought we were playing one kind of game, and I had a handle on that scenario. And now I'm just, like, I don't know how all these pieces fit together. I, s I don't quite know how we're going to... Yeah, I... Ah. But I do know that we have to see all the other endings now. There's no way we cannot. Like, we have to do it. <laughs> Anything else is illegal. I am super curious how this all ties up. Like, what, what, what is the the final, like, like, are, is it going to be building to a final end, or is all, or is it just going to be a bunch of different variants of terrible endings, and all we get is a better, a better view of the whole picture? Huh. I gotta say though, like, this is I, I like. I continue to be impressed with the writing of this game. The setting is something I was always gonna like because I'm I'm a, I'm a big, I'm a big sucker for kind of like schlocky sci-fi tropes and stuff. Like I'm an easy sell there, but the writing is really what fucking draws me in here. This game is very very well written. All right, let's see what else we get. Time for the tea parties, right? Iris route end. God, it didn't even occur to me that there was a, a route for Mizuki. God damn. Like to save? Yeah, I'd like to save. I guess that's why it says subject.
Alright, so what now? Now we get kicked back to the... Okay, it even shows us a nice big divergence point here. Okay. So we've done everything we can. See the list blur. Okay, so we can't still can't see what's going on there yet. So then I guess the last thing is Does anyone remember what we did to open up the route we took? Back from lunch, how are things going? Oh, <laughs> you picked a great time to come back, Evie. Uh Iris is dead. <laughs> we found out why people are losing eyeballs. All right. Uh Yeah, does anyone know what ch what choice I have to make to split off into Mizuki's route here? Cuz it, it, it's been a while. I don't remember what it was that we did. I remember there was a point where we had to make two choices when we were in, like, the, the, the Black Void area. But I don't remember which one we took last time and which... So, I think we picked the Balloon Cage. That sounds right, Henri. That sounds right. So, we'll pick the one that's not the Balloon Cage. Really saving Oda's route for last? Wait, what do you mean? There's another place I could have gone? What do you mean saving Oda's route for last? This is the only other point of, like, this is the only other branching point, right? Move or are you just fucking with me? Yeah, see, it says leads open here. In cell route. Okay, you must be fucking with. I'm gonna assume that you're fucking with me. Fast retire. All right. So. I'm good. Thank you. An ice pick stabbed into. So we're gonna pull that out. Okay. The control. The control. Let me open that up. I forget. What is your plan? Oda was just Oda dragging Date down to his level somehow and doing some manly bonding. Yeah. Okay. So we did the balloons last time, right? So now we're going to go for the left bird cage. A bird cage. There are ripped pieces of paper inside. How would I have known that this is like like I get that it branches on the thing, but how how does changing the picture in the middle of so How does this lead to us picking a different route? Ah, that's strange. Whatever. Uh, let's use a one-third thingy on lift. All right. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Nothing happened. All I did was move the cage. Oh, and the other one's gone now. There are torn pieces of paper. Let's go ahead and piece those together. Oh, no, shit, 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 no. Roll them. And toss them away. Ow. Hey, handle them a little shit. more Shit, I was trying to pick a timey, not select an option. There are torn pieces. Agent Date, you've got five Oh, minutes. God, you're here. Fucking pewter. Done. But 
Okay, so now we're going down Mizuki route, I guess. Okay, so the thing that split us was doing it the other way is caused us to see Iris in Mizuki Somnium. And as soon as we saw Iris' dead body, that got us fixated on saving Iris. Okay, that's why it splits. I remember it clearly. One day I came home to find that photo torn up in the trash can. When I asked Mizuki about it, she started to cry. I don't know why she tore up that photo, but whatever her reason. It seems like she regrets it. Since we repaired the photo insomnium, the birdcage... Mizuki must be having a hard time. But the cage is gone. We can get to Mizuki now. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? You can do it if you try a little. No, you can't. All right, fine. Okay, so now we're firmly in Mizuki route. All right, it makes more sense to me now why that happened. So we, we came fixated on Iris because we saw her dead body and we're like, oh God, we think she's going to die. We got to save her. But no, okay. This appears to be the microphone for... So we're going to go ahead and just shout, shout, let it all out. Ah! Stop it. Stop it already! But it was fun! A mic. Listen up, Miss Creed. That wasn't it. The fuck was the answer? The panda head is spinning. I guess we stopped the panda head? Why? Maybe it's like the speaker before. Haha, <laughs> got him. Peter may assist Renju's fun I crime see. time, but These his real crime is being annoying things. about your time spent in Somnium. Yeah, you're right. How could he right. even talk to us when we're in here? The way they described it would make it make... It's like, makes no sense. Hi, Mizuki. Mizuki! So doing it this way means Mizuki will actually open up to us after coming out... <gasps> oh, okay... Let's go to her. Got it. Okay. This is what I wanted to do last time, but... I didn't mean to pick Iris' route. It's Mizuki. I really just wanted to give her a fucking hug. <gasps> Thank you! Thank you! That's all I've wanted to do this entire time, game. That's all I've wanted to do for this entire fucking game. Mizuki... It took us doing the entire weird route the other way, but we finally got a chance to hug Mizuki. All right, 10 out of 10, game of the year. Interesting. Looking at you doing stuff super high speed and tells you to hurry up every minute? Maybe. Well, I'm glad we got to hug Mizuki. Footsteps that are burning. Zagris? <laughs> God. Oh, I haven't played that game in a while. Oh, I should play a little more of that. Hades is really good. But uh, Risk of Rain 2 is my current... Um, is my current roguelike obsession. Hey, Mizuki. Are you okay? Date. Yes! Oh, we've done it. Hug. Date! Oh, thank God. Looks like she can talk again. Oh, okay. How was I supposed to know that lifting up a birdcage versus knocking it over would somehow lead to her being able to talk or not talk? Whatever. Fine. Whatever. 
After she had calmed down, I asked her a few questions. Ah, <sighs> good father, Date. I asked her about last night, about the Nile message, about Oda, and about Shoko. I know that after Oda ran off, something must have happened that made Mizuki want to hide. <sighs> Route choices. I can make him better versus I can make her worse. <laughs> yeah. A long table. I want to hit Date over the head with that. What? Where did that come from? Why? Many objects are scattered on the table. <laughs> I mean, at least we get my wish now of getting to spend a lot more time with Mizuki. A binder. The sink manual. This monitor is turned off. Different strings of characters and numbers continue to scroll on the monitor. Alright. I opened it up. There's some indigenous jewelry from New Guinea. I think it's called a kateka? Sure. Okay. CRT monitor. Date, look, it's a brawn tube. Brown. Brawn tube! <laughs> a brawn tube, huh? Love Mizuki, cherish Mizuki, offer all mortal possessions to Mizuki, right? True route, true route, I can do both. <laughs> Braun, Ferdinand Braun, inventor of the cathode ray tube. I can't get my head around that one. <gasps> A CRT monitor, some people are obsessed with these. Wouldn't know who, wouldn't know anything about that now, would we? <laughs> oh God, I'm seeing them everywhere. Although it's also not, it's also like very clear to see how influential Stein's Gate was on this. So, store leads to the sink room. And also stuff like uh, Chaos Head. You can see the sink machine through the window. Alright, pewter. I knew you dressed like a supervillain for a reason. Hey, can I pop this cherry? Date, you sounded quite proud of that pun. Perhaps you'd like to repeat it? Uh, no thanks. It's not the same as the first time. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Date, what the fuck is wrong with you? <gasps> oh, Date, you are a piece of work, my dude. Fun fact, Kateka is a dick sheath. I did not know that. If you wanted to sheath your dick, you could do it. Okay. A locker. What's inside this? Sometimes a cleaning lady is hiding inside. That's disturbing. <laughs> what? <laughs> or pewter later on. The entrance. All right. So let me guess. I was supposed to do Mizuki route first. Right? And then something happens to Iris at the end, and then I need to do Iris route to try to protect her. It just... Feels like it was meant to be the other way around. All right, let's talk to Peter. Peter is standing with his hands in his pockets. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove. Steins Gate actually related to released too much before one of the director's other titles. Huh? That's cool. Dreams are first for science reasons. Experience. Yeah, he's got it for science reasons. However. The circumstances are slightly different during Okay, so even though this is the same conversation, I can't skip through this because we're on a different route now. So I'm just going to put it on auto and... The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. I wish the, uh, is experienced as an the skip was a bit as more context-sensitive, but I guess... The subject is not context sensitive, but like able to tell, like, oh, you heard actor. this in a different route already. The sinker is merely the audience. How does Iba appear in Somnium? Iba running. Thank you. Iba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. To put it more simply, Iba is up during sickness. Actually, I can just skip through this, can't I? Self is also sicked, but only not all of Iba's. F so that's why Somnium Iba is so dumb. Rude. Don't call me dumb. Rude. Rude. About Iba's appearance. Hey, Pewter. When we were in Somnium earlier, Iba was in human form. She's never looked like that before. That was Iba's idea. What? 
I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your She taste. designed it to our taste. <laughs> she knows. She knows. What part of that was my taste? The haircut? Looking like your boss? I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. Computer, Iba's broken. She's talking crazy. I am not broken. Perhaps Iba admires the human form. It's not that. It was just a little something. I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him you, gratitude. Oh, she's even doing it because she knows we're in. Oh my god. I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. Why would that make me happy? <laughs> I wonder why, Date. I wonder fucking why. About that figure I saw. So this is new. This is oh, new. That. I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into a subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Really? Really? That's a rule? Mizuki saw me and couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. I okay. Of course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Dante? We did. That event you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Dreams are a collage of many memories intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else Yeah, can. I keep stroking my ego. Who do you think the suspect is? Pewter, who do you think the culprit is? Well, let's see. Perhaps it was you, Special Agent Dotty. What? <laughs> God, this is this is so much dramatic irony now. Knowing what, knowing what. Although it seems like it's. Uh, when does he turn? When does he turn? He doesn't turn until Renju gets in contact with him. In case of virus, the memory of a funny video game. Yep. Not what I saw in Somnium. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. Excellent. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. I'm sure you did, Pewter. Anyway, we know about the figure you saw. I wonder who that could be. Thoughts on the suspect? How would I know? We still don't have enough information. Continue your investigation, Special Agent. Will do. Please tell me that there's also more boss in this route, because I, I, I like, I'm living for the boss and Date interactions. Th like, those give me life. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well... You, meaning you and I, hmm. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. You do. All you did was follow my instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. Will do. Do you have any questions? Right, there was something. Hey, Mizuki. When we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? Yeah. When I got there, the ice pick was, it was, it was stuck in my mom's That, eye. and that's brilliant, and that, because, that's a brilliant bit of misdirection, because it makes you think that, like, oh, they just poked her eye out with the fucking ice pick for some reason. It stops you from thinking, like, okay, why would they need to take her eye out in the first place, which would then lead you back down, if you had the knowledge of it, would lead you back down to the prototype of the sink machine. That is cool. Mm. Love it. I couldn't think straight. I, the only thing I could think was, I had I to get pick. Out. Nice, nailed it. Also, Mizuki VA is fucking nailing it. Mizuki's VA is doing a very great job of making her sound like a very sad twelve-year-old that doesn't know how to express what just happened to her. So you panicked and pulled it out. Yeah. And you held on to it when you hid in the column. Yeah. Okay, just one more question. 
This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? Mizuki's VAs were so good that they added additional expressions to the mod. Wait, really? Really? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket Damn. was empty. That is some good fucking work then. Yeah. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. Boss shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim. Also, the boss just asked if her eye was still there. Yes, I yeah. The scene, good call, missing. boss. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. Hey Mizuki. You hungry? I'm fine now. But I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Stu, you said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? Infonia only speech. Her hearing should still be intact. Oh, that's sure, Mizuki. When we're all done. Oh God. Oh, this is the good. This is the good dad Date content I was hoping for this entire time. How you doing? I told you I'm fine. So annoying. <laughs> I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. <laughs> I see she is back to her usual self. <laughs> oh. Parameters. I think I liked her better when she was. So oh, Date, shut the hell up, dude. <laughs> About that figure. Say, Mizuki. Who was that figure I saw? What? Insomnia in your dream. I saw a silhouette. Dot hmm. Mizuki would not understand the question. She does not experience somnium as you do. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Right, so she wouldn't have any way of knowing about that. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone. Ooh. In the corner, past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? But no idea who. I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. That makes sense. <sighs> who sent you the Nile message? I... I can't tell you. Why not? Because I don't want to. Oh, no. That's not a reason. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. And we know it's Renju that sends this to her. I don't think she is going to answer. When she is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. That's the kind of girl she is. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? Actually, never mind. <laughs> Some things I'm better off not knowing. Yeah, true that. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. Ooh, and we... <laughs> <sighs> yeah, yeah you are, buddy. Yeah you are. Anyway, I get the story. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene, but she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. All right. She's got that gloomy look in her eyes. I sympathize with her. Last night she saw her mother. Well, she saw what no kid should ever have to see. It'll take a while for her to get back to normal. Damn. All right. And I think that's where we save the game for today. All right. Let's take a look at the flow chart. Yep. We've firmly gone off a new branch now. Okay. Okay. 
Thanks for the stream. Oh, thank you for coming out. All right. Thanks for coming, everyone. I'll be back tomorrow for more Somnium Files. I'm going to keep going with this. I know we hit the credit sequence, but I really want to keep going and see if we can find the uh, find the other uh, route ends. Um, stay tuned. In like half an hour, uh, there is a very, very, very special new episode on Two Queers Play up today. It's no longer Two Queers Play. There's more. Que it's more Queers Play. It's like two queers play, but with but 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 but, but more, bigger than before. I think you'll like it. It's something we've been wanting to do for a while, and it's a great game, the great guest, and I think you all will really enjoy it. Um, so look forward to that. That'll be up in like half an hour, and that's all I got for you today. I'll see you tomorrow for more Somnium Files, and have a great afternoon.